yeah. So, anyway, uh, you guys had successfully defeated a giant toad and some lizard dudes with their raptors. Um, and now our deities of some variety to, or at least one of you is now <laughs> a deity or something, uh, to lizard people. Um, you've been sort of passing the time as you would... I'm gonna set, I'm gonna turn off push to talk. Because I don't want to hold my finger on this button the entire night. At some point. <laughs> la 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 la. Does that work? I can still hear you if that's what you're asking. Okay, I put it on voice activation, so hopefully it only catches some of my coughs. Um, yeah, so basically you've been passing the time guarding the place. Um, you're given a bit of respite uh, by Captain Andros, who I just realized I named Captain Man. Um, <laughs> Captain Man. Uh, and so, because, I mean, you just essentially, like, killed a massive creature and, and brought back a whole bunch of people who've been helping. Um, and you found that actually the, uh, the lizard people have been actually pretty helpful to the community. Pardon me. Um, because, uh, they know the land, they're, they're able to, like, teach the people how to, like, uh, farm the land a little bit better. Uh, so overall it's been a pretty good experience. Um, there's a lot of communication issues, because as far as you know, none of them speak common. But, uh, you've been able to get along just fine. Uh, they seem to revere Chris quite a bit. And whenever they see him walking around, they all bow to him. Um, and they avoid, uh, Josh, like the plague. Um, and so, yeah, this is it's pretty much how it's been going. You've, you've built this nice little community, but, um... <clears throat> Uh, yes, the screen was supposed to go white there. Okay, just make sure. Um, it is, yeah, I don't have any maps, any maps for this. I'm just going to be drawing and hand drawing the, 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 the encounters. I approve. Um, I'm just going to draw, like, stick figures for bad guys. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so basically, um, yeah, that's that's how you have started. Uh, here, they're basically glorified guards still, though. Um, there's not much to do around the camp. Uh, there has it's been pretty quiet, and so you have been living a pretty peaceful life, especially after the raid seemed to have stopped. Um, however, one day uh, you get uh, you get summoned to the tent of Captain Andros, um, who beckons you all. To meet him that evening. Um, in the meantime, is there anything you guys want to do around the camp until you meet with him? Uh, is there any place we can buy like provisions? Uh, you're because you are technically in the army now. You are stocked with food uh, and water that comes from uh, essentially like Livius is the the person who's been supplying you guys with food and uh your rations and your your water for the for each day um, probably still trying to stick with needles what now probably just is, probably he, st st is he still trying to stick chris with needles yes um sometimes you will find him uh when you awaken in the morning uh scampering out of your room and you're not sure if he's done that uh the, yeah, the night I, before. I was asking more about like weapons and other sorts of adventuring supplies, not food and water. Uh, there's not a lot of there's not some because you are pretty much only provisioned like with your standard equipment. Like it's basically whatever you brought. Or uh, there's a small selection from the armory, but you're not gonna find anything too fantastic in there. That's okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. You can you can speak with Livius about. Purchasing or using some of your stipend to buy uh, 
you know, buys an upgraded weapon, I guess. Um, ah, yeah, that, that's, yes. Um, you, gosh, you can do yeah. that. Cool. Okay, um, just make sure that the appropriate amount of gold is used. Yeah, well, yep. <laughs> okay. Um, you said but other... Are we supposed to have been getting money for our time here? Yeah, whatever your starting gold is. That was your stipend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, yours was zero, wasn't it? No, I've got 28. Okay, yeah. Um, basically, you guys carried some over, and then they gave you some, and that was your starting gold. <clears throat> Essentially, because you got your equipment um, when you got here. Sent it by you, and then they gave you the gold. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, does anybody else uh, have anything they want to do? I am okay. meditating. Okay. Um, well, in that case, um, you're all summoned to his tent. I assume everyone is going to go. Uh, if you don't want to go say say something now, but <clears throat> that rocks can fall on your head. <laughs> Basically, well, no, I don't want to. <clears throat> I don't want to train and tra uh, rail train anybody, railroad anyone. <laughs> um, if you just want to be an NPC, you can be an NPC. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so uh, you're all called into his tent, and he, he looks very grim as he always does. Uh, and yeah, so he calls you in, and he, he looks at all of you, and he goes. Uh, well, it isn't my, you know, my crack team of, of elite warriors. Um, a little bit jokingly, but you can also sense that he's, you know, sort of serious about it. Um, I, I've been receiving reports, uh, to the north that, uh, that, um, excuse me, I've been receiving reports to the north that we've been losing, uh, our scouts that head out that way, um, and I'd like to send you guys out there to check that out. Um, is that... I mean, like, this is a... It's a command from uh, me as your commanding officer, but I'm not going to send anyone that doesn't want to go. Uh, or that, that doesn't want to go die out in the forest alone, essentially. Um, but I'd like all of you to go, seeing that you were very successful against the last uh, problem that we faced. I think in a forest is as good a place as any. Well said. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so he he beckons for one of his soldiers, and they actually drag in a very timid-looking lizard person. Um, and uh, <clears throat> and this this lizard person, excuse me, um, it looks looks around at you and he sees Chris and starts to try to hide behind the soldier that's essentially dragging him in um but you can tell he's he's fearful um and he looks at him he looks at all of you and he goes well this this little fella here um actually seems to show quite an aptitude for our language um and he speaks some basic common say hi uh you little uh scaly bass Jared? Oh, Hi, yeah. scaly bastard. Uh, sorry, I, I got a message. Um, and he, yeah, he looks at all of you and uh, and he says, "Hi, say hi." Um, and the little guy pokes his head out around and like does this really creepy like uh, like wave and hisses out like a, a, a sort of breathy hi, you know. Um, and he, he goes, "This this 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 guy will be your guide." Um, he says, he said, I believe he says he knows the forest, um, or he completely misunderstands us and he's going to lead you guys into certain doom. Um, we've been calling him Hiss, because we can't really figure out what his name is in his language. Um, so meet Hiss, everyone. He's your new guide. Um, um, hello. <clears throat> Morning, Hiss. Or evening, Hiss. Um, 
Yeah, so you're going to be setting out in the morning. Um, <clears throat> this will be guiding you to the locations where the folks have been disappearing from, or at least the direction that they've been disappearing from. Um, and with one with a wave of dismissal, he says, uh, "Get some sleep before you all you all die in the morning." This guy's really good at pep talks. Yeah, he's pretty inspirational. I like it. Uh, so yeah, prepare your spells. Uh, I actually don't think anyone has to prepare any spells. Um, but do any housekeeping items before we set off in the morning? Uh, we're setting off in the morning, I hope? Yes. Yep. Okay, good. <laughs> so, you Sorry, I was, little... yeah, I was looking at this. <clears throat> Yeah. Um, are, are there any uh, maps that the people have of the forest in the area we're heading to? Maps? Yes. Uh, oh, that's a good, good idea. I don't know. Uh, would you like to go find out? Yes. Okay. Where are you going? I'm asking the captain if they they have any maps. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> right. I, I was just like, okay, you all leave. Uh... <laughs> <clears throat> the captain turns to you and goes, uh, we've only really got the surrounding area here. Um, the reason we were sending the scouts out was to map, um, which is part of the problem, is once they range beyond where our maps are, they seem to be disappearing. Helpful. Okay. Okay. Yes, Chris, you are a wanderer. <laughs> I was trying to edit that and actually put text in. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wrong button, ignore it. Wrong button, ignore it. Please, test, test button, please ignore it. <clears throat> uh, well named indeed. Uh, does anybody else have any questions for the captain? Uh, how long are we going to be gone? <laughs> uh, he suspects it'll be about a two-day ride. Uh, well... There's no riding. Uh, it'll be a two-day trek. We have horses. Um, okay. Give me two we have a two-day trek. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if you're gonna be able to summon a horse out of the middle of the jungle. Um, we're gonna have to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> just like, I am now level three, and a mystery horse appears from the jungle. Uh, but uh, no, we'll um. He says, That's how it works uh, for ponies in real life. Okay. I mean, yes, historically, but this is this is a fantasy realm. Not <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no magical ponies. There are um, velociraptors, though. Maybe there are vol <laughs> You know what? Uh, anyway, no. Um, <laughs> uh, Be continued. So, uh, yeah. So he he says it'll be a two day two day walk uh, past where they've they've currently mapped out to. Uh, and then beyond that, who knows? Um, you're, you're tasked with finding out what's been killing people and or taking them. Um, though, given that he's a very grim individual, he's uh, given that he's a very grim individual, he thinks you're all gonna die. Um, so yeah, uh, that is basically his thoughts is two days plus. Um, so my only question is. Uh regarding our stay here how long is that like are we going to be allowed to leave and return home at any point in our lives um that is a great question miss satali uh most people serve in the army for four years uh though you probably won't live that long okay Stella is not terribly comfortable with that, but he's guessing that's probably all the information she'll get out of him, so. Uh, yeah, you, you, I mean, he's, he's a very open individual. You don't, you don't think he's, like, a liar oh, or Oh, yeah, no, no, I, yeah, I wasn't saying that. I just, I just think that that's probably what he thinks on the matter, and he's, you know. Yep, yeah. Not expecting that, is... that to change. <laughs> yes. Um, Yeah. Uh, right. Well, you guys spend the night, um, 
preparing, essentially. Uh, for my life. Praying, if you wish, uh, because now you have a priestess of, of uh, Lathander? That should be Lathander. I, I do remember everyone's character sheet? Question mark? <clears throat> Uh, and no, I got beef with Lathander, man. I can't pray to him. <laughs> and the god of the world uh, needs a Mountain Dew, so he'll be right back. <laughs> ah, yes. God of the world has returned with a two liter of Mountain Dew. Uh, so the god of the world shouldn't have to leave anytime soon. Um, um, wow. Okay, that, that was his. To the bathroom. <laughs> that was his. his. Uh, I was going to say, if you're drinking two liters of Mountain Dew, I think you are going to have to go somewhere <laughs> else really soon. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys are ready to head out in the morning, and you notice that Hiss is not around. Ah, piss. Uh, oh, no, Hiss. Something is amiss. Hiss. Well meaned. <laughs> Am I using that right? Uh, it's pronounced me made, but yes. Yes, uh, you notice that you don't have a guide. Is uh, the captain around? The captain is around. Uh, he is in his command tent, or command building. Yes, it's not. They have set up permanent buildings here. Okay. Uh, I would assume that our first step then would be to go and tell him that our guide is missing. Okay. Um, as you as walk, you walk in, he turns his head up and he goes, Why, you guys, why haven't you guys left it? You're going to be late. Well, we, we don't have a guide, so his appears to be conspicuously absent. He likes to sneak around. You you shouldn't have too much problem finding him. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I guess we leave and start looking. Okay. Uh, how would you guys like to search? Okay, gang, let's split up and search for clues. <laughs> I think the deity should check the lizard people camp. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a good um, idea. Chris, are you going to go check the? Or excuse me, Alvec, are you going to go check the lizard people camp? I shall. Okay. Um, as you begin to approach these little like mud huts that they've managed to create, very, very like, uh, you know, swiftly, in fact. They all uh, <clears throat> come out and prostrate themselves before you. I look around. Do I see this? Roll a perception check. I'm going to assume we all go with him. Okay. Um, this portion. Okay. Uh, so you don't see his, but you do in one of the huts like hear something something like moving which seems odd because you are like everyone else seems to have come out to like prostrate themselves i go and look inside mm. make a second perception check okay well, well then does he have advantage uh Remember the second roll is only for advantage you know what? I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> uh, you immediately <laughs> you notice, yeah. Uh, you notice that everything seems to be in place except for a very small amount of tail sticking out from under one of the beds. I um, grab the tail and pull it out. <laughs> yes, of course. You a very, very terrified um, small lizard man is now. Turning uh, to face you upside down, Spider-Man kiss style, um, and he looks absolutely terrified. Is it his? It is clearly his. All right, let's go. Okay, um, you walk out with him by his tail, I guess. Uh, you notice as you walk out, a bunch of the lizard men are like muttering to themselves in their weird language, but you don't speak it, so you don't understand. Wasn't interested. Okay. Um, I make a. Can I make like a perception insight check just to see if it's like fear or like. Sure, but you're rolling at a disadvantage. Okay. Don't yeah, understand I'd... their culture. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's fair. Uh, let's see. Roll with the dice in game. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you don't, uh, you don't really pick up on. It's unease, but you can't pick up what variety. Okay. Basically. I set him down in motion for him to stay put. Uh, he crumples into a small ball. Perfect. <laughs> He's listening. He's staring. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you found your guide. Um, I assume you guys would like to set up. Assuming our guide will actually accompany us, then yes. Um, he Can looks... I make a sorry, persuasion sorry. check to try and figure out what's going on? Or just an insight check, or just talk with him to figure out what's up, why he's so scared? Uh, you can roll insight, or you can roll persuasion if you want to try to calm him, I guess. We'll do that. I, I like assist. Hey, I don't think he needs this. It. What's uh? Nope. What's up, buddy? Um. So, uh, he. Oh, the god, fuck! Why did I give him the ability to speak English? Um. <laughs> what is he? I'm gonna have to I'm voice him. To... The voice him or common, excuse me. Um. Uh, voice, voice that bastard. Don't, now. don't hurt your throat. <laughs> If it's gonna be a problem for you, I'll just describe it. One second, I gotta make a really obnoxious noise before I can do this. <clears throat> Alright, hopefully you guys heard none of that. We heard uh, none of it, I believe. <laughs> God, I, I lifted my headphone way away from my, my head, so I was hoping that that would be enough. Um, he looks at you and goes, uh, he, he just, he, he, he motions in both Chris and Josh's direction, and, uh, he doesn't really vocalize as much as, like, say something in his language, uh, but starts hiding behind you as, a, like, uh, it, it starts hiding behind the halfling. Uh, yeah, uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> in, I am in, not like, the tank. Like, uh, this is a bad decision. In, like, a, uh, a sort of like, um, the he's he, he's just generally scared of both of them. And unfortunately, we are tanks, so. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. He's like, uh, great protector. He says something along he, like when he's like, gibbering. He says something along the lines of great protector, and also like shiny demon. Um, but you can't really because his grasp of English is tenuous, and he tends to intersperse uh, lizard folk language. In with it, that's what you're picking up. Because he's pointing to both Chris and Josh. Let's see. So, uh... Alvec is your great protector, and the lady in the shiny armor is a demon? Uh, and he's he's nodding furiously. <laughs> well, if you call correctly, the, my first interaction with him was to make my arm armor glow. Yes. So I did recall that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, they're... They're not gonna hurt you. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I? New friend. He says, he says. Well, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt you either. So. Uh... <laughs> Can I try and try persuade? And... Yeah, multiple persuasions just to try and persuade him that I'm not like. Say, hey, yeah, I'm. I'm not actually a demon. I won't hurt you. Um. You can. You are rolling at a disadvantage again. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. You, but, no. No, that's fair. Um. He won't even look you in the face right now. Um, wow. Uh, so, yeah, um, how do you persuade him? Um, I kneel down, uh, and just kind <clears> of <throat> smile and gently say that, yeah, I'm, I apologize. I was just trying to, uh, get your attention. I didn't know how to communicate with you back there, so, uh. I, I promise I will not hurt you or any of your friends. He looks up at you and goes, You good, demon? Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Go with that. Take it. <laughs> okay, good demon. Still scary. Um. <laughs> not but, but he didn't even see you accidentally murder a woman. With that... <laughs> she didn't die. She, she went, went into, into a coma. <laughs> um... But with that, he starts hopping along on all fours and motioning for you. Um, demon friend, follow. We go. 
Alrighty. Team Demon Friends. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, yeah, kind of galloping along, um, and you guys set off. Uh, and I should probably roll random encounter checks. All right. Is anyone hiding and moving silently? Uh, and then... then... I'd like to. Okay. Um, yeah, so everyone roll... Uh, uh, that would like to roll for hide as you go. I'll just take your first roll. Thank you. I'm not going to bother because my armor means that I automatically roll at disadvantage. So, you guys march off. Um, I don't horse is not that. hidden. Oh, oh, what the what shit? The <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the very large barbarian is perfectly stealth in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, so you... Uh, you guys are marching off, and, uh, so let me, you, your first, your first day goes pretty much without, let me, oh. yeah, so your first day goes pretty much without any, uh, thing, you actually, you start to notice that the jungle, well, um, sort of well sort of dangerous um is actually he has quite a bit of beauty there's a lot of like very bright birds flying around um and sounds you know just generally pleasant when everything's not trying to kill you um as you make camp for the night uh i assume you guys want to make camp for the night now you don't want to walk through, go through the uh go through the uh, Parts. Go through the night, march through the night in the jungle. No, I don't know. Just mind. Okay. Stop. Okay. Um. So, uh, yeah, you guys set up for the night. I assume you, you guys light a fire. Um. And do we? Yeah, I guess. Do you? I don't know. Who's keeping watch? How many elves uh, do we have? Two? I have a uh, half elf. Do you get which the almost counts? Do you get the ability to not sleep like elves do? That's part of that. I have no idea. Yes. Yes, you do. What you said, Nick. Uh, I remember reading it somewhere. I'm looking for it right now, but need to find it. If someone can show me proof that they can do that, I am happy to accept it. <laughs> Even yeah, if it's like a, place, okay. a sketchy, like, source document. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on it, actually. Um, I get dark vision, but I don't see anything about rest. Yeah, you know what, I don't see it either. Yeah, okay, probably nothing. Alright, yep. So you still have to sleep, you do get dark vision. Um, could you, uh... Are, are you a half of her full elf, Nick? Half. Okay. Um, so what we could do is do... Um, <clears throat> two short rests for people with dark vision. Or some other form of light generation. Alright. Uh, what is your... What is your setup, essentially? So a full rest is eight hours, right? And a short rest is four. Something like that. Is it five for a full rest or some shit? Um, I have no idea. I, that might also just be a... Uh, that might just be a 3.5 thing. Short no. rest is a period of downtime one hour long. Long rest is the extended period of time during which a character sleeps. Uh, reading, talking, eating, or standing watch for no more than two hours. Rest is interrupted by a period of strenuous activity, at least for the end of a long rest, character regains all lost hit points. Okay. Um, so at least eight hours long, 
performing light activity, um, including standing watch for more, no more than two hours. Okay, so we have to have four people basically standing watch for long rest in intervals. Yes. Um, so I can be one of those pretty easily. Or two elves and then one other person. Sure. Congratulations, uh, halfling. You get a full night's rest without having to be up at all. Yay. <laughs> okay, um, so you guys aren't lighting a fire. My inclination would be not to, just because I don't want to draw attention of anything that might be around, if at all possible. Okay. Um, and are you doing any gimmicks? I know you mentioned light generation. Are you doing gimmicks with your light um, kinda powers? Kind of depends on Chris. Do you have any form of dark vision or thing, or will you need lights while you're up? Oh, let's see here. I probably need light, but I don't think Halfling would have, too. Yeah, I don't have any kind of vision. Besides okay. normal. I'm just trying to think what I would put light on. There's Stick? Th yeah. Um... Basically, I just want something that can be covered up really easily, yeah, so I could just do a stick or something that we can cover up for the people who have dark vision. How much, how much does tree. that, yeah, no, how much does that, uh, that, that light, uh, how much does that cast, like, the light from your source? Uh. Mm. uh it's pretty good, actually, yeah, 20 foot radius and dim light for an additional 20 feet. Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna assume that, I, I mean, there's no role for that, it just works. Alright, um, who is going first, second, third, and fourth? I'll go first, sure. Okay. Okay, I'll give that stick to you then. Uh, hmm, do you wanna go next? Much? Shoot, it does only last an hour, so maybe, probably actually just start a fire for the first hour of the night. Okay, so okay. Let's do, yeah, yeah, let's take that. Aren't, uh, you, hold on. Aren't you an elf, though, Josh? So you only need. You're not an elf? Nope. Okay. Okay. He's a human. Let's do those without dark vision first, and then. Put out the fire and dark vision for the rest of the night. Yep. Okay. Um, so it's Chris, then it's. Uh, Josh? Yeah, I can go next. Sure. And then it's... Who? Forrest first. and then... Then Nick, as the day awakens. Okay. Okay, um... And apparently you don't have to be sleeping, but, um... Yes, yeah, it's, it's at least eight hours long during which a character sleeps or performs light activity. I assume that... Well, the late activity is for... for no more than two hours, so you, you do have to be sleeping for the other oh, six. Oh, right, yes, yeah, yes. Um, let me just... I am not, I am not GM rolling. Okay. Um, so, you all pass through the night, um, uh, pretty uneventfully, uh, first Chris, then Josh... And then the forest is as twilight hits. Um, and then Nick. Um, just have to. Oh god. I've forgotten how to do this. Okay. Um, one second. <laughs> also, I need to. Uh, song sound. Um, that makes a bit more sense since we aren't in town anymore. Yes. Uh,
Everyone wake up, wake up. I wake up. I make sure everyone is awake. I awake. Make my okay. myself. Out of what? Oh, um, provisions. Never mind. They're gone. Out of the food that I brought. Yes. Maybe. I assume you you're going to share with them what you perceived. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> fine. I'll make food for everyone. I I heard something <laughs> very large. Yeah. So um, he describes to you. Uh, I think it's just easier if I tell them because <laughs> instead of like me being like. Come to a different channel so I can tell you what you heard, and then we can come back to this channel, and then you can tell them what you heard. <laughs> um, yeah, so as light begins to break through the night, um, Nick hears this very loud crashing, um, but it doesn't seem to be very close, and he cannot see anything. Um, but there's a series of... It's some something clearly, clearly very large moving through the jungle... Damn, um, another giant frog. And also, as it's passing by, you hear uh, a loud roar. Uh, and then it starts to move away, and then silence. Could you tell which direction it was going? Uh, he could, yes. Is it the direction we're going? Uh, well, uh, so, yes, Hiss looks at you and, and nods rather glumly. <laughs> um, mm, I ask, uh, Hiss if, uh, he knows what it is. I'm not sure if he'd be able to describe it in common even if he did, but it's a shot. Um, he looks at you and says, big, big creature. Okay. Uh, big teeth. Sharp tooth. Sharp tooth. <laughs> Sharp teeth. Can I break, I break off, off, get a little head start, see if I can uh, get a sense on what it is? Stay hidden? Sure, yeah. Do I need to um, roll yeah. stealth, right? Yes, roll stealth. We're presumably all gonna follow some distance behind, like 15 feet or something, so that we're within distance to catch up to me if necessary. Okay, um, so Nick sprints off into the bush, uh, and then you guys presumably follow crashing loudly through the bush. I do not crash loudly. You, yes, okay, Tim is, uh, absolutely disappeared. <laughs> um, <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> Uh, also, uh, the big barbarian, very light on his feet, very gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and Forrest falls on his face in his attempt to, like, sneak through the forest. Oh, it makes it feel better, Forrest. Actually, the two of you run into each other and make a loud ouch noise uh, as you stumble <laughs> over one another. Uh, yeah, so... I assume those in stealth mode are leading the charge, so to speak. Seems like a good idea. Can I? Is it possible for me to stay hidden, but within sight of everyone else, so I can like communicate with them silently if I need to? Uh, you. I think I believe it's just assume that stealth. Uh, unless you're trying to hide from your colleagues, you you are able to. Like, let them know of your location, at least. Um, so you can, so like, you can like, whistle. Okay, okay. Or you can something. Like, stick your head around whatever bush you're hiding behind and wave yes. at us. My guy can't whistle. <laughs> okay. You make, like, a... You make a... You fuck <laughs> your mouth and make a weird, like, <laughs> noise. Um, yeah, motions. It's like your trees. Yes, you can, you can also do hand motions. I can. Where the hell is skills? In this god danged. Really late for some reason. And the descriptions are not not super mm, helpful. No. I'm looking for uh classes, feats, item lore, miscellaneous monsters, spells. Miscellaneous? I don't know, I don't know. Mm. They they have rules in the <laughs> in the Are you uh, looking through the compendium? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing it there either. He'll probably have to go to the. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bio real quick before we get into something here. Okay. All uh, right. Pause recording because I'll go out for a cigarette then. So you start going in the direction of this creature. Um, and you pick up a trail, very large, three fo three toed footprints. Um, make a survival check. Clearly a giant three toed sloth. <laughs> Which would be wisdom if you don't have survival. All right. Um, is that everyone? One, two, three. So, Tayela. Um, I think we're missing no. Chris. Chris. Ah, this might not be back yet. Let me pause the video here. Okay. Welcome back. Make a survival check. Survival? Okay. Unless you don't want to survive. Okay. Um, you all realize that you can't really tell the age of the footprints because none of you are really super skilled in surviving in the wilderness. Um, even with <clears throat> wanderer and such? Even though you're a wanderer, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd even give you advantage, but you rolled advantage and... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so, pardon me, uh, you realize that, uh, you don't know how old the footprints are, you can't really tell how fast this thing is going, you do realize it is very large, um, one of the foot, I mean, one of the footprints is probably, uh, the size of one of you, not Chris, but definitely more like, uh, Satelli. Okay. Or, yes, um, two halflings, in fact. Thanks. I was going to say, so twice, twice size. Right. Um, and, uh, you, Tyler does recognize that this is probably a, uh, close to a game trail. It's probably out hunting. Um, but yeah, uh, you do, Taylor does recognize, well, uh, Taylor and Ialis and, and Alvec will recognize that um, because this is a very large, uh, predator, um, you really have two options. Uh, it seems to be moving fast, and your options are to, um, start sprinting after it if you want to catch up to it, and be at disadvantage for stealth, or stay in stealth, um, and potentially have to follow its trail through the night. Why don't we lure a trap, make a trap for it? <laughs> oh, it's gonna come back this way anytime soon. Like, I mean, well, do we? Uh, really know? I mean, we could have somebody start yelling their heads off and hope it comes back. I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's <laughs> what we can do. Okay, who wants to be bait? I vote. I vote hiss personally. Honestly, well, I don't, you just, but I don't, I don't all of your work. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually say that. That's. Well, um, I mean, do we think this is what's eating people? I suppose we can't assume that it isn't. Well, we, it, whether we're going to have to find out before or after we kill it, which means probably finding a lair of some sort, right? If we're finding a lair, then I think it'd be better to follow it. Because if, I mean, if this is the only one, which I kind of hope it is, uh... The killing be fine, but if it's not, like, even if it has, like... It turns into the Jaws series. If it has, you know, small children, or, well, probably large children in this case. I was gonna uh, say. <laughs> or if it's sentient. I, regardless, I think it'd probably better to track it and see if we can find where it came from, and make sure that there aren't any more. Because, you know, genocide is fun. Oh, so you guys are gonna follow the trail. That's my vote. Works for me. Sure. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's not particularly hard to uh, follow the trail of giant uh, because the giant, the giant, the giant are twice my size. 
Yeah. Uh, Tim falls in a couple, or excuse me, Tayla falls in a couple of, no, uh, she would, I think, I think she's a little bit too dexterous to fall, fall into something like this. Um, um, she enjoys leaping from print to print. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, but, yeah, you follow the trail, um, but as you follow it, uh, Tayla begins to notice that, uh, the footprints are getting older, so it's clearly outpacing you. Um, uh, at, so, like, as the day gets later and later, you realize it's getting farther and farther away. Um, and soon, uh, you follow it all day, and soon you recognize that it is uh, starting to become nighttime. Uh, how would you guys like to proceed? How many days of supplies do we have? Uh, you've been provisioned for seven days. Okay. <laughs> and aside from that, I, as long as there's berries or other things around, I can scavenge and feed up to myself plus up to five other people, so we're covered. Oh, okay. What? I mean, really? If it's like the ranger ability, you would have to go slower, which would be bad since it's already outpacing us. Yes, that's in there you go. Oh, it does. Look at that. Uh, well, we can assume that that's part of light activity for him, like picking berries and finding small game. Uh, and then if he wants to do that on the go, he would have to go slightly slower, though. But it doesn't, but it doesn't, doesn't explicitly like, say that, so... I like the idea of just this massive beast... But it's also super stealthy, sneaking around, picking berries. <laughs> That's not even the thing you're tracking. You meant the bait, great beast that is uh, Alvec. Damn straight. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's um, swiftly approaching nighttime. I think we should probably rest the night, but then, well... I mean, if this thing's feet are twice my size, I don't want to rush on it in the night and yeah. be tired and get eaten. Yeah, and I, I think we're probably gonna, if we want to keep tracking, we're probably gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow, but I don't think we really have any choice but the rest of the night here. Uh, then I think we should move off of what we think might be a game trail. That is a good idea. Okay. Um, so you move. Is it possible oh. actually for us to rest? up in the trees and get out of the way? That's also a good question. I mean, like, the canopy is kind of high up, but it would provide um, it would provide a location for you to rest. The, the branches are quite, quite like, so um, it's it's definitely like a jungle tree. How many where Tim's wide a lot of branches? How many Tim's wide? I would say they're one, they're one Alvec wide. Okay. So about 18 Taylor's. So yeah, so <laughs> I don't, I don't know if um, I can um, actually climb trees. Tim, I think I got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. You uh, could also. You have acrobatics, acrobatics instead of athletics. Probably. He's quite, quite good at drawing, drawing people? people, as well. Oh. <laughs> no, please. Uh, uh, does anyone have a rope? To um, I have fifty feet of hemp and rope, actually. So oh, I, I could camp. actually climb up and uh, <laughs> and uh, drop a dank rope. I down. climb and drop rope. Okay. Drop 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 one dank dank rope down to them. I presumably also climb and drop another one so they can do uh. like a sort of uh, just like so, a we can tie them together and we can pull up on it sort of like a swing. Yeah. So Chris takes one look at the 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 tree. Um, kind of bends his knees and just jumps about 20 feet in the air and grabs a branch. <laughs> Starts <laughs> climbing. Uh, and, uh, or excuse me, Alvec. And Tali is not far behind him uh, with the rope. But uh, Chris is, or Alvec is just essentially a monkey at this point. Seven foot a monkey. giant, yep. Giant ape, yes. Well, if that's where the tanks are going, I guess I will. <laughs> uh, I 
ask Hiss if he is able to climb this. Um, Hiss looks looks kind of strangely at you, uh, as if he expects everyone can, and just like <laughs> scampers up, like like a gecko kind of scampers up the. the you know side what? Of the tree. I've always lived in cities. Giant trees are not my forte. <laughs> Okay, I guess I didn't need the ropes. Uh, Tyler. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> All on you, Forrest. Like, seriously, oh, if you just hold on to one of the ropes, we could probably, yeah. You're, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Forrest, Tie the ropes around your waist attempt. and we'll just pull you up. Uh, you guys have seen Mulan. Um, it's <laughs> like when Mulan tries to shoot me up the pole and just kind of slides back down. down. <laughs> Uh, Do I have to try again, or... Uh, Chris, Chris can I stay on the ground? I'm a little Alvick nervous make about a, Alvick and Satelli make a strength roll. How? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris is far too... Or Alvick is far too... Uh, having far too much fun in the branches, and is really paying attention to, like, pulling anyone up. But, uh, Satelli throws a rope down for you and is able to, like hoist you up one-handed, essentially, uh, as she's climbing. So you get a... Nice. Well, you essentially complete the climb, because um, like you can stick to the tree well enough to to not fall as she's, as she's climbing with one hand and pulling you up with the other. Uh, getting down will be interesting. But, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Also, Nick, uh, you uh, you rolled a perfect twenty. You just run straight up the tree, I guess, <laughs> and there then reach, as you as you reach an appropriate branch, start meditating or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you rolled a twenty and a one. Like I don't know how. <laughs> but yeah, um, you all successfully get into the tree in one way or another. Hmm. You realize you won't be able to set a fire tonight. But yeah. Hmm. Um. That's a good point. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's way we can get around that. I'm less concerned tonight just by virtue of being up off the ground. Yeah, I can give you a light cantripped uh, twig or something for the first. Uh, or it's Tim's turn. For the first hour, or yeah, or Tim, whoever. That's fine. Okay, um, yeah, so, uh, describe who's on watch first, second, third, and fourth. I'll go first with Josh's magic twig. Okay. probably freaking the shit out of, uh, his, but, you know. It's called a wand. Yeah, he's still very paranoid of the, the, the shiny demon. Um, shiny, but he's willing to... shiny demon. <laughs> he's willing to work with you, so... Um, but who's so it's it's Tim and then otherwise I assume probably just the same order so me and then the two elves with uh the okay. in the morning <laughs> all right um so yeah uh Now the typing of a keyboard is over the uh, non-push and talk chat is almost as disconcerting as dice rolling. Okay. Um, so, as everyone's sleeping, uh, everyone, no one really notices anything. Um, 
but uh, Which means we're as every <laughs> everyone has a, as has a sense of unease, but no one really senses anything through the night. Well, that's normal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, and light soon comes to, uh, greet you in the morning again. Okay. Um. And, yeah. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do, I would like to, uh, just kind of look around and make sure that we haven't wound up in the stomach of a giant monster in the middle of the night you have you have not been stomached okay. no there's like you're nothing, un nothing currently unstomached um his when he wakes up sort of sniffs the air and his lips curl back and seems to be on edge uh and immediately scampers down the tree and motions for you guys <laughs> okay um i'm going to tie a rope around uh uh, Anialis first, and okay. lower him down. Since oh, thank you. He sucks at climbing. Okay, make a strength check. You successfully lower Anialis down very comfortably. No, no bumps or bruises. Okay. And then I'll climb down myself after. And just everyone do a quick uh, athletics check. I'm assuming I um, don't have advantage. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, other proficiency. <laughs> uh, can I stay hidden up in the trees? Oh, not acrobatics. Uh, or ath ath athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher, I guess. Oh dear. Um, you can stay in the trees if you'd like. Um, everyone takes one point of damage. Except for Nick. <laughs> Ex except for Taella and Nick, yeah. And, and, excuse me, Lars. Well, fine then. I think. One, one two. And Yalis got lowered down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky yeah. rolled. And and I guess. And Yalis, Tyella, and Alaris do not take any damage. Satali and Alvec, despite their mastery of trees last night, uh, take one point of damage. Well, right now. <laughs> Way down is. Uh... <laughs> We... Alvik just kind of rolls out of the branch in the morning and realizes he's not on the ground. Still makes the he still lands in a superhero pose, but he has scuffs his his knuckle and takes a little bit of damage. For some reason, I, I, I... superhero landing. Yep. And then Satali, how did you take damage? Um, for some reason in the morning, I apparently just thought I could fly or something and jumped out of the tree, and that did not work. And so you face plant. Oh, uh, basically, yeah. Okay, but you're in full body armor, so cushion might fall a bit, yeah. Okay, not Full not steel armor. No, it's your fall. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right, I ask ask his. Uh, so what do you you smell something? Did you hear something um, last night or what? He's like pointing very frantically to the ground, like tracks, tracks, and uh, and you notice actually around your tree, there are sets of very large footprints. But they seem to have left at some point. Uh, how many sets? Uh, roll survival. What? Everyone but Nick can roll survival. Hell yes. <laughs> I know everything about these tracks. <laughs> Forrest, they're okay. like, uh... These look kind of like holes in the ground. <laughs> so, uh, Taylor and Alvec, you both um, so anytime I tell something to, to two people, like, I'm just for sake of ease, uh, try not to metagame with that knowledge. Um, because okay. they can share that information with you, and presumably they do, but if they choose not to, like, you guys don't have that knowledge. Um, but, uh, Alvec and Tyle, you both recognize that there's one footprint, and in fact, Alvec, you recognize that, um, there's even, like, little claw marks as the thing clearly drag drug clawed hands across the <coughs> across the tree as it, it wandered around, but there's only one. Hey everyone, there's only one one one. one. Yeah, I, I think stuff like that you can probably assume that we're gonna share. Yeah. Worry yeah. too much about. 
Yeah, if it's something more pertinent to the character's background, that's probably going to be more of an issue. But yeah. as long as it's... So, uh, can we tell which way it went? I would certainly have it. Um, Alvec can tell pretty much everything but what it is. <laughs> he knows how long it's been. He knows... Uh, pretty how long he has knows... it been? Yeah, that's actually a good uh, question. <laughs> so, the track seemed to happen right as Dark had fallen that night. Um, and continued for about two hours, and then left. It's been about six hours. Yes. None of us noticed that in the middle of the night. That's wonderful. Well, I guess uh, that would have been, uh, Taylor's watch. I had disadvantage, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, it's... Er, wait, hang on. Never mind. No, nope, I couldn't have done that. Carry on. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, so you you guys didn't notice anything in the night. Uh, but it's clearly aware of you now. Um, and it's stalked around this tree specifically. Well, I feel like getting in the tree was a great idea, so thank you, Chris. <laughs> Y'all are welcome. Topic, I guess. Yeah. Um... I guess we keep following it. Um, yeah. I was going to suggest trying to speed up today uh, and catch up to it, but in light of this, I think we should keep going with the stealth approach because now that it knows we're here and presumably tracking it, it might yep. be waiting for us up ahead. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is it smart enough to know that we're tracking it? It's smart enough to so back we, uh, we don't even know it's okay. Aren't able, able to tell, tell it. If it's smart. Right, uh, no, we can. Probably not smart to assume it doesn't. Uh, Tim, why did I just overroll you? RNG. <laughs> the great That's RNG insane. god. Yes. Chris, I have a bad feeling that karma rolls are coming your way soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like sure too. Three natural 20s. You rolled three natural 20s on climbing. <laughs> and survival. Uh, and survival. Sorry. Uh, are you still stealthing, Nick? I am still stealthing. I rolled yeah, earlier. Got a, got a, oh, okay. Are you gonna come down out of the tree at some point? Because we're kind of leaving. I'm staying up in the trees. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, going from tree to tree. Okay. Like his, his, okay. his natural oh, acrobatics check is just gonna carry on through the night. Um, because it's kind of impressive. Um, so he's spider manning through the trees up up <laughs> above you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, you are following it, presumably. Um, everyone's rolled de stealth that wants to roll stealth. And I'll uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. You need to, okay. Um, yes. So, you're wandering through... Uh, and Chris, you start to smell a particular smell that you're familiar with as someone who has spent a lot of time in the wilderness of uh, uh, a creature's eliminations. Can I tell how fresh they are? Yes, they are very fresh. They are very fresh and very near. What do they eat? I warn everyone that we are damn close. Yeah. Um, and it's coming almost directly to your your right, um, not very far ahead. Uh, Can I yes. see anything from up in the trees? Yes, you see a very large pile of dung with little bones sticking out of it. Oh, good. Um, yeah, so you uh, continue forward. And so you actually come to a little bit of a clearing in the jungle uh, where there is a cliff face with a small cave inside of it. I'm assuming the small cave is a relative thing. Uh, well, I mean, small cave compared to the cliff. It is, it is, it is a large entrance, yes. Um, like, the beast could theoretically fit through there? Yes, the beast large, could okay. theoretically fit. 
do the do the tracks lead into the cave? Are there any coming out of it that are as recent as the ones going in? If there are ones going in, there are tracks all around. There are tracks leading into the cave that are fairly recent. Yes. Okay. Are there recent tracks going out of the cave though? Is more what I want to know. Uh. uh I like... Alpha. Sorry. Go ahead. Can I like scan the area? Sure. Anything else? Is that a uh, perception? Yep. <laughs> you perceive I see little. lots of leaves do I perceive anything oh yes um so um Taylor notices that there's essentially like uh around this area is a lot of beaten down grass as the creature clearly uh moves through here uh frequently and uh there is you know, there's bones scattered around, clearly of the creature's kills that it's brought back, and a sense, a smell of like rottenness, in the air as well. Um, back to my yes. question though: footprints leading. Oh yes, right. Uh, right. No. So there, there is footprints, uh, that have. It looks like the most recent set of footprints are going in, not out. Okay. Um, I like that answer. That's a good answer. Uh, so I guess uh, this is our final destination. Uh, so we could uh, either go in and kill it, or try to kill it, or we could mark this on a map and go back and tell the captain and ask for reinforcements. Or we can wait for it to come out. I was also, I was also yeah, knowing where it is. Um, do you still have, like, like cantrips available? Yeah, cantrips uh, don't require any spell usage. You just have them. Ah, so, okay. So. Um, then can he put one on one of my crossbow bolts, and then I can shoot it into the cave? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I'll do that. Do I even need an attack roll for that? I hope I can't miss the target. Then. No, no, you cannot miss the entrance of the cave. No. Um, do we all want to be up in a tree or something if we're going to wait it out? Ooh. Well, okay, so that's... I mean, if I shoot a light in the cave, I think odds are decent that it will come out. So do you not want me to do that? I'm just we trying fortify. to... Well, we're... yeah, I mean, I think, I think we do want you to. It's just a matter of where we want to be when you do that. Um... I'm not going to, well, I could start up an entry. I could throw spears. I can't, but are we trying to actually fight the creature or just see what it is? Mm. Well, I think we should see what it is, but be prepared to yes. fight it, given that it has obviously taken an interest in it and shits out small creatures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Okay. Um... Well, okay, uh, well, if if we're just going to wait for it to come out, then I don't think, even though I thought that was a really good idea, I don't think shooting a lighted crossbow bolt in there is a good idea. Probably not. So, I uh, guess. Find a tree like we did last night and wait it out? I guess. Okay, so, okay. Um, I, I, now that somebody who thinks about trees has come up with that idea. Oh god. Well, I have bad news, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> Josh is staying on the ground all night. Well, I I'm, think it's, I'm not I... gonna get in the tree. I I'm think gonna... what's what's more like to happen here is that uh, my metal armor is going to make a lot of noise as I fall to the ground. Uh, you are correct. It does make quite a bit of noise, but it doesn't seem to elicit any sort of reaction. <sighs> trees, everyone. Totally <laughs> I, trees. I actually I did figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Definitely good. That it was a swamp. Okay, the only reason I'm drawing these is because 
for ourselves in there. Yes, uh, I want you guys to decide if you want to be in a tree, if you want to be in the same tree, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the trees probably aren't big enough, don't have enough branches for everyone to be in one. I don't want to be in a tree, so... but I, I want to be able to run around and hide. Okay. That's my AC these days. <laughs> How do you get your character thing? The, Go to the uh, character page. Icon. Drag from your name onto the. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on the ground. I vote you stand under my tree so that you can protect me. Me? I don't give a shit what you do. <laughs> oh, okay. That's supposed to be the undergrowth. <laughs> undergrowth. I should, I should have made, made a different color. Uh, is there an undo button? Button. Honestly, I think it's fine. I can understand okay. it. Hold on. Uh, Presumably, it is green. So. Tree. 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 I think those what? are the only three we're using, so. Okay. Um, so everyone's in one tree. Uh, Except for Josh me, I'm on the ground. He's not in a tree. I'm gonna sort of board this. Okay, okay. Forest is also not in a tree. Forest is um, in the underbrush back there. Oh, so, so I can reroll my stuff. Yeah, everyone, if you want to reroll your stealth, reroll your stealth. Otherwise, you'll take a 15. Wait, well, we'll take a 15? Um, if you'd like, you could, um, I can... So there are a couple ways I can handle this. Um, because you presumably have time to set up, uh, and nothing seems to be coming out. I can either take the highest of your rolls, or you can take a 15. 15 me. Okay. Is that uh, 15 plus bonus? No. Okay, then I'll take my higher roll. I suspect Nick is going to find Or that's... Yes, that's Nick. Lars is going to I'll take a 15. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, Instead I'm of your 19 kidding, or 26. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay. Please, I'm just kidding. I was not serious. <laughs> okay. Okay. Really? You don't want your critical success? It's an interesting choice. Also, you notice Hiss is fucked off somewhere. Uh, you, you can't really see him anywhere. That's fine. I don't blame him. Good. And so... Okay. Uh, and so Josh is not hiding, correct? Nope. I'm bait. In okay. fact, um, I apply a light cantrip to my armor. Okay. Can you do you move away? away. Must, yeah, I was going to say, actually, if you be <laughs> bait, I don't think I want to over my tree. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm in... Okay, let me do some distancing. Um, well, oops. <laughs> I... You should be within 30 feet of everyone. Just a little bit, just so I'm in range of Forest Crossbow, too. Um, okay. Well, more, more so that whatever I'm fighting is in range of Forest Crossbow as well. Okay, and you can continue to recast light, right? Yeah, I can. It's I have infinite uses on it since it's a cantrip, and I, it has a duration of one hour, so I can just recast it every hour. Right. 
Uh, this one, the range but, increment on crossbow is 80, yeah. so you don't have to worry about... Yeah, I just don't want to have to worry about your disadvantage if... No, that's that's the short range. Yeah, that, that, that is oh, the short range. Holy shit! Okay, well, never mind. Three hundred and twenty is the long range. <laughs> God, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, I suppose I'm just throwing my spear, so that's why they have such short range increments. We use Sorry. technology. It's, there's a reason for that, but I'm not sharing it. Um, um, I kind of figured, but... Yeah, so you guys wait. Um, well, since we're waiting, actually, I'm going to heal my missing hit point. Okay. Um, I need... Uh, Just going to healing hand myself for that one hit point. Healing hands? Got it. Mm -hmm. It's nice to um, healing, but I don't need to roll for it. It doesn't use spellcasting slots. <laughs> Ooh. Pop into. Uh, actually. That's only within 30 feet. Never mind. Okay, so you wait an hour and nothing. And you wait another hour and still nothing. And this continues for... I mean, so it's midday and this continues for several hours until you start to notice the sky darken. Um, as, uh, it's not kind of great. As, uh, uh, as nighttime is slowly approaching. But um, it's not gotten dark yet when you start to hear... Uh, actually, make perception checks. You don't hear anything. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't hear anything. And everyone's rolling an advantage, so... Oh, okay. Um, but, uh, Alaris especially, um, starts to hear a rustling... Everyone except for Josh starts to hear a rustling <laughs> tree, tree, tree. Thank you, guys. Um, and uh, starts to hear rustling. And in fact, uh, Alaris can even start to see a shape emerge from the... Oops. No, 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 no. Almost revealed too much. Start to see a shape emerge just into the light here. Um, and yeah. It, uh, it's a very large, two-legged, or it's a large, in fact, two-legged uh, creature with a large head and rows of very sharp teeth. Um, sharp teeth. Sharp tooth. Sharp tooth. It is yes, scaly. Yes. It is scaly, uh, or feathery, depending on your uh, <laughs> theory you ascribe <laughs> to. to. Okay, so, so it's a dinosaur. <laughs> And it, it uh, takes, oh no, it takes and moves the uh, the cave entrance, apparently. <laughs> and and it takes its first look into uh, the world and roll initiative. Um, presumably... Oh, wait, don't, don't, don't roll initiative yet. I don't remember how to do this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, presumably the stealth people before we actually start the combat will be able to do sneak attacks, but... Yeah, roll initiative. Roll. <clears throat> Why do these not... Why do these not work? Okay. Um... <laughs> no valid token was selected. Uh, you guys have to ch select your token before click there. That's right. Hey, that one worked. So you have to right-click your token and then click, and then roll. No, you just have to click so that it's selected and then roll initiative. Yep. I liked my roll. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> uh, what was your roll? 
bro. It looks like. Uh, yeah, minus 12. Oh no, I'm just gonna find you, you bastard. I Twingy. Uh, he rolled seven both times. Forest. Well, I like the other one better. <laughs> um, 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 um. Uh, huh. Strange. What is initiative? Uh, uh, is it dex? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I cannot type. I do this for a living and I cannot type. Fuck my life! 1d20. Wow, okay. <laughs> also, that is a, uh... I'll do... I'll do add turn. Okay, um, so who took... I have to look here. Who took, uh... Stealth, stealth, stealth. Who took 15s? I did. Chris took a 15. Uh, Forrest took a 15. Yeah. And then uh, Taylor uh, and Dolores both took their rolls. Yes. Okay. So Taylor and Dolores, both, you both have one turn of surprise. Oh, okay. uh, and Forrest as well, I think. Uh, yes. Or the Audum. Can they hold that surprise? Uh, what do you mean hold the surprise? Like, can they choose not to make an attack with that right away? Because oh yeah, oh, yeah. 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 I mean, if you wait until the thing attacks you, then the surprise round is yeah. over. Yeah, that's, that's true. Getting it. Yeah. 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 Nope. Yep, never mind. Carry on. Yep. So Forest uh, is also stealth. So Forest, Tyla, or excuse me, Eniolis, Tyla, and uh, Alaris all have surprise round. Pew pew. Pew pew? Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew hits. Roll damage. Uh, you take the first one, right? Not that. Uh, Where's that, that both? Yeah. So it's seven okay, total. Okay. I rolled once on both damage dice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, actually, uh, actually, um, Alaris would have gone first, but I. So it's a surprise round, so it's super Yeah, I was going to say surprise, surprise range. Matter. Does Alaris even have range attacks? <laughs> I have a short bow. A, a good question. Wow, okay. But, it's, I was, I'm debating if I... If I can get there. Do you want to tank the boss? But I also do not want to take the boss. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hang out up here. Um, I sh like uh, everyone can assume that they have three potions of cure light wounds, or whatever it is called as well. Uh, they're just potions of healing, but yeah. Yes. Yeah. That. Um. So Alaris, are you taking an action? Or are you still in consideration mode? Um, I'm gonna try to remain hidden until it gets a little closer. Okay. And other people uh, are engaging with it. And then, uh, any Alice, would you like to make take an action? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot my crossbow. Okay. Uh, well, first roll for to see if you hit it. Was the attack roll? Oh, that was the attack roll. So probably not. Um, <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't hit it. I scared myself and bumped the bolt. Alright, so we're starting, starting again. It's 
uh, Laris' turn. I assume you're holding your action yep. um, to react. It is Tyella's turn again. Pew pew. Okay, pew pew. I do. I still have sneak attack. Or... Yes. 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 Pew. I can <laughs> reroll ones on attacks. I am going to reroll my one on attacks. Okay. Attack. Okay. We'll take the first result. Okay. That hits. Ten. All right. All right. One on the d6 again. Okay, um, it is now the Barbarian's turn, Alvik. I suppose I should get out of the trees, since I don't have a ranged weapon. Okay, make an acrobatics check. Or athletics, that works as well. Um, you superhero punch down, or something. I don't know, you can describe <laughs> how you get down. You do it successfully, though. Meteor um, strike. Sweet, I superhero landed. Okay, um, you still have a standard action. So if you have a ranged attack, I don't. You can also do what, uh, um, you can do what, uh, Alaris is doing and move your action to the end of turn. Yes. For this turn. Okay. Uh, so just to remind me that you only have one standard action to, at the end of the turn. Um. And then it is. Uh, so are we Eddie going? Alice's are we going by the first initiative roll we did, or the one where we re-rolled to get on the menu? It is now your turn. Okay. Um. It's probably not gonna matter, honestly, because what I'm probably gonna do. See, I don't think I have anything that is going to be terribly useful here. Because I could throw a spear at it, but I kind of want to keep my sword ready. So I'm probably, probably just going to move and then kind of yell at it or something. Okay. So you're going to take one standard action to move, and then you're going to use one... I mean, it's it's a free action. action Quick sure. vote. Yeah. yeah, basically, I'm going to yell at it and try and... Uh, I guess intimidated into attacking me. Uh, okay. It's not particularly smart, so it doesn't seem to react one way or the other. But okay. it was paying attention to you from the start anyway. Yeah, my armor is also glowing. So. Um, and then. And now you are further away from me. It is Horace's turn, or uh, any Alice's turn. I'm gonna fire another crossbow bolt. Okay. Uh, that one definitely hits. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, so that's 12 more damage. No, that's not right. Yeah, that oh, would be well, a few It did crit, crit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is well, he attacking well. with advantage? Oh, is that, is that the crit roll? I have crit roll? with it. No, that, that's not what that, I mean. Oh. That doesn't give you advantage, no. Oh, okay, then no. Then I don't have advantage, never mind. So you only deal four damage? Um If yeah. if he is not critting, then yes. Yeah, before that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why that did that. Because it has Because you did have a crit rolled. Oh so I see. apparently there's no is, um I can't remember where it is. I'll look for it here. All right, so the big critter is going to move directly in front of Josh and try to bite him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everything um, is um, proceeding as for I the roll, roll. Uh, If you don't want to always roll advantage, if you go to the gear next to core bio spells, there's a drop down menu um, where you can set it to uh, like toggle or query or never roll advantage. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Where's that? Uh, the gear, uh, and then it's in that box on the right. It's the second thing. So you have the NPC checkbox, then it's roll queries. It's ah. set to always roll advantage by default. 
I'm going to set mine to toggle. And then it just has a, you have a menu that appears next to your core bio spells. It's says advantage, normal, disadvantage. I thought you'd simplify things. Rush, what's your armor class? Uh, 19. So the creature lowers its head to bite at you and misses by a single hair. In fact, um... I do have it, my shield out, which is why it's 13, by the way, so... Yeah, so it scrapes its teeth against your shield, but doesn't actually do any damage to you. Ooh. Um, and now it's back to... Oh, it's not back yet. Um, it's, uh, Alaris's turn. Actually, Alaris gets two turns, I guess. Well, it's Alaris's turn, then it's Alvex's turn, then it's Alaris's turn again. Um... Okay. Yeah, if you want to use your held action, you have to use it now before yeah. the next turn series yep. starts. All right. Um, I will jump down. Okay. Martial you can arts. Ac acrobatics or athletics check, whichever one works better for you. Right. You successfully get down, and you have... Uh, enough to get over there but I don't think you'd be able to also attack that same turn you should be able to that... speed's enough well but if it was yeah, an action yeah. to get down and an action to move then he's using yeah, up his yeah. actions regardless of how fast he is yeah. okay. okay um it, the thing is still trying to eat the shiny creature right now so you're probably okay uh, and then it is Chris's turn. Uh, would I have enough move? But the short distance, would I be able to move an attack or just... Yeah, move? it's a five-foot step. That's a free action. Excellent. I'm also going to rage as oh, a God. bonus action. Okay. How many rounds does a minute's worth of rage last me for? Each round is six seconds, isn't it? So it's ten, it's ten rounds. rounds. That's what it used to be, anyway. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, that's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna go with, anyway. Uh, let me put a timer on you. Well, <laughs> is that so including your your bonus? Yeah. Well, is that including the rage bonus, Chris? Because you, I think you get a plus to hit. Well, I I get a uh, damage bonus, not a oh. hit bonus. Okay. Um. Well, you're going back. You've missed. You're going back to your place. Actually, uh, can you and for you and Josh both roll? Uh, can you and Josh both roll uh, uh, dice one d twenty? For what? Oh, it's oh, both have twelve. Yeah. Darn. Okay. Perfect. Uh, and now it's back to Punch Man. One, one punch, punch Man. man. Well, didn't Satelli have an action saved? Uh, did you? I apologize. Yeah, because um, I, I just moved. I didn't actually do anything. Okay, yes. Okay. So you are... It's your turn, and then... So. Yeah. Um... Let's check something out in the middle here. I thought I'd moved everyone, but... If I didn't, please let me know. Okay, uh... Seriously? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, no. Um, okay. Uh, it is uh, Alaris' turn. And now we're back to regular turn yes. order? Okay. Uh, yes, one punch. This creature. Okay. I'll roll dexterity instead of strength for attack and damage. Okay. You hit it. And then it just... Uh, four damage? Plus his, four. Dexterity. Plus his dexterity. Plus dexterity, so what does that come to? Plus four. Eight. Uh, eight damage. Okay. Uh, and then I'll spend 
a key point to disengage and dash away. Okay. There's that uh, <laughs> step of the wind. Does that incur uh That's a bonus action. Yes, but yes, well, that's... I mean, if he's specifically disengaging, uh, is, that, uh, is that what you can do with Step of the Wind? You can disengage? Yep, yep. Disengage, Zero and then I get ability, kind of like that. And my jump distance is double, so can I get back okay. up to the tree? That should be able to... Yeah, I mean, it's a 20-foot jump, but probably... If you take the disengage action, your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks the rest of the turn. It does not? It does not, according to the compendium. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> Okay, um, it means that it is Taylor's turn, who is doing the uh, lion's share of the damage right now, guys. Um, I would like to point that out. I punched These it. arrows, arrows <laughs> are very, very damaging to this creature. Well, so far, far. Far. Well, it was nice being able to pew pew repeatedly while everybody else was trying to get into melee range. Yeah. Um, all right, all right. Pew pew. Um, um, <laughs> well, that hits. Um, does uh, he still sneak attack? Seven? Are you Actually, shitting me? Yeah, because um, there are um, people in melee range. Oh, yeah. You've got some ability that allows you to... I rolled ones on both of them again. <laughs> Five of my six damage rolls have been won. <laughs> Alright, uh, it is now Alvek's turn. Unless you have a bonus action, I should. I do, but I'm not going to use it. Okay. Uh, that definitely hits. Uh, and then add two for the rage damage. Okay. You also rolled a one. <laughs> uh, we failed right. this time. Uh, and a two. Okay. Uh... It is now Satali's turn. She isn't using my attack roll for some reason. So I'll do this manually. One second. I feel like we had this problem before. I don't remember how we fixed it, though. Yeah. Oh! Well. That hits. Oh. Uh, Just go with the first one. Okay. Oh, go with the first one? Oh, oh. Oh, I just saw the thing. Apparently uh, no, just got so backed up. The 8 does not hit, no. The 19? 19? What? Oh! Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, in addition to that... Okay. Uh, so that's... Okay, so that's 12. Uh, and then in addition to that, I'm going to use... Uh, Divine Smite. Okay. Uh, so, when I hit a creature with a melee weapon attack, it can expend one Paladin spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target in addition to the weapon dam weapon's damage. Uh, so it's 2d8 for our first level spell slot, um, which it is. Okay. So it's another 2d8 damage. Okay. Uh, so it's another 9 damage, so uh, 21 total. Okay, so that 21. Um, so, with your... With a shout and a swing of your sword, comes smashing down, uh, or actually, you, you stab upwards, because it was bite, it was just trying to bite you in half, um, and as you do, you stick your sword through its mouth, and then there's a second of pause, and then light starts shining through its eyes, and then head, it, its head explodes into this holy, like, explosion, and then the body sort of topples forward, spraying Chris with blood. I like this. It's neat. Fuck you, Satali. Uh, right. Um, <clears throat> eh, right. Um, it's kind of a problem because I was hoping to take the head with us. I'm not actually using uh, that. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna say, are you. No, I'm trying. I was trying to remove it from my uh, prepared spells. Uh, oh, I just want to show that worked. So there. I need to okay. expend a spell spot to use it. Um. 
Everyone make perception checks. <laughs> Rats. That works, I guess. Um, most of you do not seem to notice anything. I, uh, climb down from the tree. Okay. Is that a thing I can, like, take 10 or 15 on? Or do I have to yeah, there's yeah, no, there's no required, there's no, like, uh, danger anymore at this point. Okay, then I will climb down. I will, oh, okay. I will check out the cave. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to uh, reach over, wipe my sword on whatever dry part is left of uh, Nope's clothes, and then sheathe it and follow Tally. <laughs> are, you are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> yep. Can I punch the Tally? You can try. You can, yeah. You do not succeed. It's a strength save, but... You uh, punch his, his armor and manage to actually injure your hand. Will, do you want to go in the cave? Uh, yeah, if, alright, so, uh, Tail's already in the cave, um, was anybody, would anybody like to go in as well? Yep, I'll yep, go sure I will. as a mobile light source. Okay. Um, you don't notice much, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, like, rusted, uh, equipment, looks like if some people were dragged in here and eaten, um, presumably dead, hopefully dead, uh, as well as some kills. There's not much in here, um, other than that, though, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, no sign of any other creatures similar to this one at all, so it was just this one. Uh, yes, yeah, so, like, the, you, when, so one thing I should say is, like, when you notice the creature... Um, it looks very, uh, so this is something that, that Alvec would notice at least, um, if not, uh, anyone else familiar with the wilderness, creature looked very, like, old, it had old war wounds, there were scars all around it, its head had, uh, it only had one eye, it looked very much like an old, like, old bull. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you do notice that... Um, on uh, this, like the armor that the people seem to be wearing, does not appear to be look. It doesn't look like the lizardman armor with the obsidian weapons. It is armor from the humans that were here. Okay, so this is probably what was killing our scouts. <laughs> Likely, they're like uh, <laughs> identify. <laughs> yeah. I mean, considering where we are, um, is there like some sort of distinct emblem or something that the dude would? What specific captain to recognize that we can take back to, to prove that we found what was. Yeah, we, should, we should maybe. Uh, go with I was going to at this point. Head. I know, so, but the head exploded. At this point, I suspect he would trust us if there wasn't, but. Yeah, so you guys can search the. You search through the bodies, you find some amount of gold that I need to find appropriate to your level. Um, um, are there still teeth lying about? Can we just take a few teeth? It would probably be easier to bring a helmet from one of the, the things, one of the, 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 the skeletons. I mean, if we, I mean, if you want teeth, you can probably find teeth. Yes, yes. We're trying to prove that we found what killed the dudes and not just some random thing we found in the, the wilderness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's, that's true, actually. Uh, 
I, if you want to search for teeth, you can probably come up with a mouthful of teeth between all the bodies. A mouthful of teeth. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about uh, teeth from the dinosaur. Yeah, I, I thought you were yeah. too. I was, but okay. oh. <laughs> that's, okay. a that's a little sad. morbid, but I suppose that's, 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 that's if you're into that thing. For. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Grab a helmet. That explains why Stetson okay. didn't uh, didn't think that was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there was miscommunication. Definitely. Miscommunication. But I mean, it's actually it's totally within. Chris's character to start looking for teeth. Uh, no, I was I was gonna say it's not it's not entirely unreasonable. Uh, I'm gonna call for his as well. Um, his comes scampering out. He's like, "Great demons kill great monster. Best, best well, demons of all time." I'm sorry, my so we're all demons. demons. All right. I'm sorry. He's, He's starting, starting to associate is. shining objects with demonry, and you guys have all used shining objects at this point. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, Chris, give yourself a point of inspiration for looking for teeth. And also for the uh, climbing into trees thing. You know, my uh, have one point of inspiration total. It was just I've got a point. So. Oh, you've already, you've already got a point of inspiration? I, I marked it. It does now. Uh... All right. <clears throat> Oopsie. Uh, actually, one second. Someone's home. Burp. Someone? He doesn't know who's home. He has a roommate in addition to us. So. Okay, um, I think everyone's, yeah, uh, yes. So I'm going to go have a smoke then while we're waiting for him, um, and you guys can discuss your next moves. Okay. I also need to roll, uh, uh, gold up for you guys. Present experience as well at some point too. Oh, uh, it's 450 experience for everyone. Oh, okay. Uh, that would put us all up to third level. What is that? Which, yeah, that would put us all to a thousand experience total. Nine hundred is level three. Okay. So we can level up too. Level three. Message received. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. Did we not take any damage from that fight? I don't think we did, did we? Cure, they got one attack on you, and one attack on Chris. No, we not on it. me. No, not on you. Unless Chris took damage from punching me, uh, that would be the only one. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Beck. Uh, you now have a thousand experience points and have leveled up. Total oh, nice. thousand experience points. You didn't gain a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So you gained five hundred and fifty, which puts you to a thousand. Wait, I already had five hundred and fifty. Do I gain another five hundred and fifty? Or four hundred. Well, it should be enough to put you to a thousand. You gain. You gain four hundred and fifty. So yeah. total of a thousand. Okay. Yes. Sorry. That's uh, that's my bad. Ooh. 
ding the three. Oh man, what do I do on level up? It's not as much as it used to do, which is kind of nice actually, <laughs> in some ways. Plus the uh, the skill sheet or the character sheet takes care of a lot of it manually for you or automatically. Yeah, I'm now immune to disease. Okay. BRB. Since you're actually discussing things, we'll go ahead and pause the recording until we get back to work. So my assumption would be that uh, we'll just uh, basically head back, I guess. Uh, because I mean, we have we have killed the mighty beast. We have proof of. Uh, Chris presumably has a necklace of human teeth around his neck now. <laughs> nope. Does he have a necklace of dinosaur teeth around his neck? Yes. <laughs> All right, I will give you a necklace of dinosaur teeth. Hmm. Right. Uh... Um. And then we have a helmet or some other item with a marking that would be distinguishable for the captain to know that we actually did find the beast that was killing his people. Right. So. Um, that also reminds me that you guys found uh, oh, 60 right. gold pieces. Um, presumably split between the five of you, 12 gold pieces, and then 900 silver. Silver. Uh, okay, I'm back. Sorry. So nine hundred silver split five ways. Yes. That'd be one hundred eighty silver each. Man, all this money's gonna weigh me down, guys. You said 180 each? Yep, 180 silver and 12 gold. Each? each? Doesn't 100 silver is equal to gold? Yeah, but unless you have a way of transmuting silver into gold. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of, can I trade somebody? Because I can't actually carry that much silver. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I can give you a gold for 100 silver if you want. Is the exchange rate 1 to 10? Oh, uh, sure. Is it? I don't, don't actually know. Isn't it 10 silver to a gold? And then 10 copper to a silver? That's how it was in 3.5. Well, there's, well, on the character sheet, you've got Electro. Right? Yeah, that one's weird. It's like half as much. Oh, okay, let's end up. How much gold did we get? 12? Yeah. An electron piece is worth five silver pieces. Uh, 
gold is worth 10 silver. Okay. Correct. Okay. Standard exchange rate to page. Okay. I'll give you uh, 10 gold then. For 100 silver. Do, 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 uh, uh, discuss stuff while I am, I am doing stuff. How's the leveling going, Nick? I just finished. Okay. So we're just waiting on Stetson, then? Yes. Uh, I'm trying to determine if you guys got found anything else. Uh. I would not say no to a better speaker. I want a staff. <laughs> you guys don't get to request weapon. <laughs> That's not how this works. Can't you just pick up a nice stick? I'm pretty sure we can pray to Aaron, Jesus. I could, like, if, if it comes to it, I could break the head off of one of my spears and give it to you, but... It... Mm. That'd be pretty hard since I'm pretty sure made out of metal. Okay, one second here. Uh, you just roll D one hundred. I am currently answering a few questions, but uh... oh. what the fuck? It's not over nine thousand. The weight calculator won't do hundreds. Although it gives me total weight in hundreds. But if I put in bolts as 0 0.05 each, it gets all smitty. Have you tried 0 0.05? It doesn't work. Because it doesn't do hundreds. Okay, well, yeah, I was just verifying that it wasn't doing it because of the lack of a number in front of the decimal, and not just because it doesn't do hundreds. No, nope, you're right. That is what. Okay, cool. Oh, really? Yeah, so do 0 0.05. Huh. I have encountered that issue in uh, other software, so <laughs> thought it might be a possibility. Yeah. Well, I'll be. What will you be, though? Okay, uh, so while you're doing that, uh, can we start heading back? Yes, you can start heading back. Um... Fuck, where? No. <laughs> Q 
can't roll a d3.5 apparently. No, nope, no, nope, you can. I just did it wrong. I don't know if that actually works. Okay. It just gives one. <laughs> Dead. Okay. Roll stats in just produces an error message. What? <laughs> oh. I tried oh. to roll stats in, it didn't work. Um, yeah, so you guys walk back, uh, you guys are on the way back, uh, you don't, uh, you don't seem to notice anything, um, uh, you don't seem to notice anything on the way back, uh, it seems pretty quiet, uh, you spend two nights sleeping, uh, but on your way back into the third night, uh, you roll, or on, on your way back on the third day, roll, a uh, perception. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chris and Tyler, you both notice smoke in the, uh, black smoke uh, crossing the tree line, or through the tree line, I guess, because um, it's a jungle and there's always trees, um, in the direction of the town you were just at. Uh, That's probably a good sign. They must be holding a party. It's a, it's a festival, obviously. Perhaps leaving the army of lizard men there was without their god there to keep an eye on was not the best idea. Um, on that note, so I'm assuming you've conveyed this to the rest of us, including Forrest, who has apparently just been staring at the ground the entire walk back. I mean, yep. Um, so I ask, uh, Hiss if, um, he's ever seen a column of smoke like that before. Uh, Hiss is frightened and speeds off in in the direction of the town. Okay, I follow him. Yep. Yep. Okay, he's clearly not hiding. Are you guys trying to hide? I no. Okay. I will. Okay, uh, you will be moving at half the speed that they are. So, roll a hide check. Okay. Um, anyone else want to try to hide? Stealthy Barbarian is not stealthing. Oh no, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Um, he doesn't want to take the movement penalty. <laughs> okay, yep. so everyone's, everyone's just moving as fast as possible, except for Alaris, who is stealthing through the forest at 20 feet instead of 30, I guess. But um, yeah, uh, just because Alaris does move enough. faster than the rest of us normally, so. Um, oh, is that true? Base, base That's... speed is 45. Oh, then you're basically at the same speed as them uh, at full full blast, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I should probably read everyone's character sheets for the technicalities and not just the storyline. Um, yeah, and so as you break the cover of the trees, you do you see pretty much what you you uh, you feared would happen, in that the it looks like the entire camp has been burnt to the ground, or like there's fires everywhere. Um, and you also notice that there is no guards at the gate. Um, you cannot see Hiss. He was apparently in such a such a rush that he is already in the town, or at the very least he is gone. Hmm. Uh, let's search for any survivors. Um, okay. I'm going to search for danger instead first. I want to find out what did this if I can. Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah. Everyone roll perception now that you're in the town. Ooh. Uh, you roll it in oh, advantage. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll roll again. Because oh, you're familiar with the area. 
it's been three weeks. <laughs> oh, that's performance, not perception. Sorry. Much better. Okay. Well, sort of. All right. Um, I assume you are all staying as a group. While you're doing this, you're not splitting into like sections. I'm not moving away from the tanks. If they're staying. Yeah. Together. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. yeah, we'll stay together. Um, unless uh, Lars wants to move off because you know. Right. Yeah. He's healthy. Because he's some fucking ninja. Uh, ninja, ninja, ninja. Uh, yeah, so, Taylor, you notice that it, there doesn't even seem to be any sound at all. There's no rustling. There's just the quiet, like, uh, crackling of fire. Um, and that it has... It looks like the fire's actually dying down at this point. It's been burning for so long that it's having trouble finding things to continue to, to burn. Um, so the fire's starting to die down. Um, as you move through the town, you notice that the long hut that, uh, Livius is usually in, uh, is completely, like, there are pieces of it scattered everywhere. God um, damn it, he blew the place up, didn't he? No, it was that damn goblin. Oh? Yeah, that, that, that is... Oh, that's right. That is the <laughs> dabby thing. Um, <laughs> but you also notice that the fires seem to have, like, the, seem to have affected the uh, wood after it had been uh, after it had been blown apart so uh, so again like it, it looks like it, there has been an explosion and then the pieces have burnt where they are not that they were on fire and then exploded that makes sense okay. um, so he did blow it up <laughs> he blew it all up you damn dirty apes uh, uh, it was so you walk, walk the town, you also notice that um, the uh, that there are plenty of corpses around, and the corpses have various uh, wounds in them, including uh, like arrows uh, sticking out of them, sword wounds. Um, the arrows seem to be fletched with uh, bird feathers from the area, and uh, the jagged wounds do not seem to indicate like a short sword, more like the weapons you saw with the uh, lizard folk. What's mm -hmm. the lizard folk's mud hut area look like? Uh, as you get over there, you actually, as you start to move towards that area, you start to notice more and more uh, corpses that aren't human, but in fact lizard folk with weapons in hand as well, um, they seem to have suffered the same wounds. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> so sort of not better our news. Uh, it wasn't my army. <laughs> uh, you see the, the few warriors that they had seem to have died uh, at the end near uh, the mud huts, trying, uh, it looks like there was a circle of them. The end there, uh, at the mud huts, and that's where you actually find Hiss uh, weeping over, or is like weeping as much as uh, you can weep as a lizard person um, with no tear ducts uh, <laughs> over a corpse there as well. I'll try to talk to him. Okay. Um, um. Yeah. So he is. He is like shocked. He's very shell shocked. Uh, roll a persuasion. Uh, at advantage or normal? Uh, at normal. Okay. Nice. Mm. So, what do you say to the young lizard man? I just try to get him to, to calm down and talk to me. Um... He looks at you, and he's he's muttering a lot of his his, his language. But when he sees you, he he see he starts saying something about golden empire, golden empire. Uh, at this point, this is point, that. Sorry, go ahead, Josh. I'm gonna break off and uh, start looking for survivors, presumably with Alaris. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, so actually, if you two want to move to a separate channel, we'll do this in two parts then. Okay. 
Um, unless everyone else is following them. Okay. Um, Red Shoe. I'll move down there. Uh, wait, Nick wait. left your channel and okay. switched to Red Shoe on S. Uh, are, so there... you guys staying with his? That's, that's a yes, I'm gonna stay with his. Um, I'll stay with him. Okay. You switched to channel Red Shoe on S. are going to wander through the main part of the human part of the town, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, so, so, as... I think, so, yeah, I think what I'm looking for are survivors, and if not survivors, the bodies of specific, uh, basically the individuals we knew in the town. Okay. Um, so, yeah, as you're going through, uh, you, like, most of the corpses aren't, are pretty burnt, um, you can you don't really recognize anyone uh roll a couple of perception checks <clears throat> so i assume that means each of us roll perception check uh do you yes. still have advantage for knowing the area and the people yes yep you spent time here so you will roll advantage. okay uh, i'll take that <laughs> okay um you don't recognize anyone as you go into like the command hut um you which is uh, presumably one of the first places you check. Um, you see signs of a scuffle, but no blood. Um, and it looks like there someone was killed here, but it, it's not Captain Andros. Okay. Well, that's good. So, okay. uh, I presume I have coordinated with Nick on this, so I'll tell him that. Okay. Um, yeah, as you start to, as you leave the command hut, you look out towards the or as you scan the area and you see that there is actually a ship in harbor. A very familiar ship, in fact. Um, it looks like the ship that you came in on. Okay. Uh, can we head over there and investigate that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so you come over and you see uh, the ship has taken several very large uh, bolts or, or something tore through the side of the ship. Um, but you can't... So whatever did, they removed those. You cannot tell... There's no, like, evidence left of what, Interesting. like, actually damaged the ship. Is it boardable? Can we take a look it at the It is still boardable. It is in port, and it doesn't seem to be on fire, okay. but as you start up the gangway, you do actually see plenty of corpses on... on it looks like they were boarded pretty uh and pretty much slaughtered okay um, um all right one thing in particular wanna... is the mage's corpse here the mage's corpse yes so the the captain of the ship oh yes yes mage. yes um it looks like uh you can't see you can't see anything on main deck here um you can either go below decks or into the captain's quarters which, which is on the uh which is the entrance on the main deck here uh, do you want to scout that separately, Lars, or do you want to go together and just like start with the captain's quarters and then go into the lower deck? Go separately. Okay. Uh, I'll okay. take the captain's quarters then. Okay. Um, you go into a different uh, session, and I will stay with the go to panic room. You switch to channel panic room on S. Oh. On S. Okay. So, how do you approach going down into the second, or into the lower area? Oh, I thought, uh, did Nick take the cabin's quarters? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess <clears throat> I walk down. I'm not really stealthy, so. Okay. I mean, uh, but I, 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 like, do you have your weapon drawn? Do you, are you... Uh, so do you... Shiny? In the, uh... On deck, it was like getting the perception. So like we had, we had, had the perception earlier that the flames were kind of dying down. Um, yep. Is there any reason that I have to believe that uh, attackers might still be here, given what I've seen uh, on the deck? As as far as you can tell, no one's no one's even alive. Much less uh, much less like the attackers seem to have left. Okay, I think I will draw my sword. 
um, and apply uh, a <coughs> cantrip to it just as a way to see, but okay. I'm not like actively anticipating attack. Okay. Um, so as you start to go down uh, the stairs, you notice like more people have been dead. The swabbies are all dead. Um, and it looks like the barrels have been ransacked. Stuff has been taken. Um, or searched through, at least. Um, and stuff had, like, valuables have been taken. Um, roll a reflex save. Oh, boy. Okay. That'd just be a dexterity save, I assume? Yes. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, so as you come down, you hear a holler, and then the tip of a whip comes out of uh, oh, out of nowhere and smacks you right in the the like the face, um, giving you like a nice like scar and knocking your hood back. Um, oh, great. Uh, and then out stumbles Brutus, um, and he's you bastards! Are, ain't gonna take me! And he's charging you. Okay. Um, um... So at this point, I, I'm gonna go. With, I really don't like this guy. Okay. Uh, like already. Um. So I think this. Between this catching me off guard and me just like being generally pissed at this guy in general, I've had enough of his shit. So I'm going to enrage. Uh. Okay. And basically, my. So my eyes pull black. Uh, my shoulder blades kind of start to bulge, and then uh, my bone wings emerge. Okay. Uh, and I start generating this sort of necrotic aura around me. Uh, okay. And I prepare to attack him. Uh, when your when your wings spring out. Oh wait, actually... there's a fear save for that too. I yeah, that. I was gonna say. Um, so let me open that up without linking it in chat. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's uh, charisma saving throw DC eight plus my proficiency bonus plus my charisma modifier. Okay. Um, so what is that total? Uh, so that would be a f it'd be DC eight plus five, so that'd be thirteen. Let me. I'm just gonna roll a d20 then. DM roll one d20. Okay, so he absolutely fails, and he drops his lip, his whip, and falls backwards, and starts blubbering. And he's like, "You, you're not one of them. What, what are you doing here?" Um, I am absolutely enraged at this point, so I just yell at him, "What happened here?" what happened to everyone <laughs> okay um he uh he's like they they fuck they came those bastards they came and they what they did they look like stop killing um he's like they they were in they were in golden armor and 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 at this point you start to realize that there is a very large um dagger sticking out of this man's ample belly um and uh, combine this with the fact that he is now absolutely terrified and scuttering across the floor, he seems to be starting to fade. Um, and he's like, they, they had golden armor! Where did and they, they come, do, you, do you know where they came from? I'm trying to basically get as much information out of him as quickly as possible before he he's dies. Like, he's like, yes! They came from... God damn it. <laughs> I... Uh, Yep, so they he expires on the floor, um, and uh, in the most like in in the most humiliating way because he has urinated himself at the fear of you. Uh okay. I just kinda look at him in disgust. Um and then start trying to calm myself, I guess, so that I can okay. like, retract my wings. Okay. Um Yeah. Uh I believe well, I mean, as you after you calm yourself and go upstairs, you've noticed that uh, Polaris has already gone back to the group, yep. um, presumably because he didn't expect anyone to actually get attacked. Um, and then 
I will switch back to the main channel. Stetson left you. You switched to channel anti panic room. All right. Asda. Um. All right. Everyone's got their information now. Yep. Nothing of consequence happened. Oh, actually, um, uh, Josh, one one step back into the panic room. Okay. One second. You switched to channel panic um, room. One of the on things Asda. he does mention. Um, he's like, they came with golden armor, and one of them had a forked tail. Okay. Oh, great. Yep. Okay. That is All good right. to know. Back to anti panic room. You switched to channel. Stetson joined right. your channel anti panic right. okay. room on S. Yes. Um, how would you guys like to proceed? Uh, I'm gonna pull my head back up and rejoin the party. But. Are we still split? split? Uh. That's up to you guys. Has yeah. everyone? I I assumed that everyone had reconvened over the shell shocked um, body of Corcus <laughs> here, but but if someone hasn't, please let me know. I am back with the party. Yeah, I have pulled my hood up and rejoined the party as well. Okay. Um. So, how are you guys? You're gone for a while. Uh, the mage and the captain are dead. Single crossbow bolt between the captain's eyes, the mage was littered with them. The collar and the rod are still there, I have both of them. Okay. Wait, the, so they're, the ship hadn't left yet? No. Or was it back? No, it's still there, it's uh, moored in port. No, no, it, it had it had left during your time and is oh. had come back. I guess. It's... Okay. Oh, okay. I don't suppose enough of us know how to sail a ship to get it back to the mainland. I certainly do not. No, I actually suspect none of us know how to do that. Um. Alright. How about you, Tally? Or... Yeah. Uh, I. I just kind of have my head down. I'm obviously kind of distracted, but I can I just say that I didn't find anything of importance. Right. Well, Hiss says that it was a group called the Golden Empire, and that they aren't like either his people or ours. So, uh, apparently there's another power on this continent. Does he know where they came from? No, I haven't asked him yet. He's still pretty shaken up. We need to find that out as soon as possible. I suppose. Um, his his here here. is he's like filled with like a rage now. He's very very unhappy, and he's like, "They from here? They for, they they natives, but they they've been around longer than my people." Um, I tell I him, tell him that, that if you know where they are, uh, I will personally go and hunt them. Okay, and at that he, like, he's like, they very big, and he makes this ridiculous, like, hand gesture, clearly really mean mean a snake. Ah. Uh. Hmm. And if it's an empire, presumably there are a lot of them. Yes. That would be the, uh... Understand, like so. He's like, yes, many, many. Okay, so we probably want to try and learn a little bit more, and maybe see if we can find anybody else who's who'd be able to help us before we declare war on them. Yeah, yeah. the five of us. Did you guys check out the ship? That's... Yes, that is what we were just discussing a okay. little bit ago. Actually, yes. I just want to make sure. Because we could move there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if if you want to, we could. There's, I don't think there's a huge advantage. I guess it's a building that's still standing, so there's that. How um how often do ships come? Um, I doubt uh, anyone is left alive that knows that. Well, we were here for well, yeah, a true. while, right? So, like, yeah. did we see any other ships, or was it just you the one? One, you you knew that the one that you were on is approximately on a three-week schedule. 
Uh, you have seen another ship come with supplies. Uh, so yes, you do know that ships come here, though they're not, they're between two to three weeks. Um, so if we just sit in the ship for three weeks, then we might get rescued? Uh, you, someone might show up, but someone is likely to show up at some point. So, so. just going to point out that in three weeks, if someone shows up, it would be just as likely for them to interpret this as we uh, being, you know, press ganged people rebelled and killed everyone. Uh, was killed everybody. Uh, pretty impressive. It would be, but I mean, it's not outside of their own possibility, especially given um, that they're low in supplies, could have happened at night. They will look at me and go, he did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not keen on waiting around for three weeks. Well, I wasn't either, but I just was thinking because Golden Empire is at least as likely to come back before they are. Um, so, do we know, because you said they've got other outposts and, like, logging places, do we know where any of those are? Uh, you're familiar with, with, uh, the locations of the mines and logging camps. They're generally only, um, like, uh, they're generally only two to three people, uh, at any location. Um, they're oh. not... Yeah. Uh, one other thing that I should mention, I forgot that we split off. Uh, we didn't go to the ship until after we split off. Uh, so before that, we did stop by the captain's place. Um, we didn't find the captain's body. Okay. Okay. Like right. There's a struggle there. So that's that's actually important information. Um. Right. I, f I forgot when Nick said the captain was shot with a crossbow yeah, between yeah. the eyes. I initially assumed. No. Yeah. It's, yeah. He was talking about the, said the mage. Ship captain. That should, have, uh, that should have registered, but it didn't. Yeah, no, the captain of the guard is missing. We don't know where he is. Uh, so it, we didn't see anything that looks like his body, so we assumed that he was taken. Uh, Hiss said that they extract tribute and then kill them, referring to his people. So maybe that's what they were trying to do here. What's the tribute? I don't Hiss, know. Do you uh, Hiss? Uh, gold. <laughs> Uh, well, also food and uh, and sometimes people. So they do take captives. Okay. Um. Well, so do they always do they always kill everyone, or do they leave anyone alive? Like, is it would it be possible to negotiate in some way with these people? Like, is, would there be any possibility to talk to them? Uh, he's he says to the, something to the extent of they kill. Uh, warriors to keep us from like fighting them. Um, try to keep farmers and and women and children around so that they can continue to give tribute. Um, they do communicate with his people, so they do speak lizardling. Probably speak common though. Yeah. So Hiss would probably be able to translate, but we probably can't offer them anything they want. And they don't seem like they're too keen on the whole negotiating as equals thing anyway. Yeah. They also take warriors to uh, Reno. Uh, hmm. That might be a thing. Might be where the captain is then. What we could do um, is, if Hiss can lead us there, we could scout it out and try and do some sort of rescue mission. Wouldn't necessarily okay. have to like take on the whole empire, but we could do some sort of like infiltration, espionage type stuff. We have a ninja now, generally, so. so. Okay. okay. Um. He's like, to... okay. uh, he, he's like, uh, is only, uh, a week, to, week, a seven to ten day ride that direction. He's like, ride or a, walk. Or walk, excuse me. I continue to say mm -hmm. ride. ride. That's... Um, 
Alright, I see on the other question is do we want to try to warn the other relatively friendly people here? I suppose we probably should. I'm not sure. I, I mean, we... Yeah, I think what we should probably do is tr tell them to probably come back here. We should see if they have anyone who can sail, actually. And then if they do, send them back, maybe? I don't know. Um, but I think, I think it's unlikely that the Empire will come back and attack this place again at least in the near future. Um, so they could probably wait for a supply ship here. Uh, but it'd probably be safer for them back here than in one of the camps, because while they won't attack the village again since they think they already destroyed it, it's entirely possible they could stumble upon one of the, caps, the camps and attack those. Okay. So you guys want to... So it'll be about a day to a day and a half to reach all of the locations and warn them. Okay. Um, um, yeah. Uh, they didn't really set up much too far away, um, and there isn't too many of them. There's just a couple logging camps, and I think only one mine, so... Okay. I think we should do that then. Yeah. Um, before we go, are there any supplies that are left that are salvageable? Particularly thinking uh, about ammunition. And or gunpowder. You can probably scrounge enough, if not from the bodies themselves, then from what's left of uh, the um, supplies on the ship uh, to give yourself enough food for a couple weeks and uh, give yourself uh, probably 40 bolts of ammunition, but other than that, it's not, not much. Okay. 40 total? Uh, I'd say 40 per... Well, I'd say... Yeah, I'd say 40 total. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... Avic, you mind carrying some stuff? What am I popping in my bag? 40 crossbow bolts. Here. And a lot of food, I guess. <laughs> Cause... Well, remember, food, I can... Scavenge on the I know, but it's... Yeah, and I suppose we probably want to leave at least some food for the other people that yeah. we're telling to come here. Alright, so we'll take like a week's worth of food each. How much does a crossbow bolt weigh? 20 is one pound. <laughs> at least that's what I have them as. Chris is probably like, only 40 you guys you don't want to take a ship with you? With you? <laughs> I... I... I know, but I literally cannot carry that many <laughs> without going into encumbrance. Also, I have a hand crossbow if somebody needs a, a ranged option. Alright, um, well, I assume you guys set out. Uh, his, his joins you, uh, cause he has nowhere else to go now, because his people are all dead. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, you, one thing you should notice, um, is that, uh, the lizard people seem to have, like, the, the damage that the lizard people have taken seems to have been worse than the damage that the, uh, humans were taken. It looks like there was some level of like mercy i would i would uh say for the damage like so um you'd find one crossbow bolt in a person you'd find like five in a lizard man that makes sense They're angry at the lizard men for trying to get out from under their thumb uh it, uh, right, that, but, that was speculation, not asking you to tell me things that I clearly don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you travel around. Um, most of the people are just like, yeah, sure, uh, I don't want to be here in the first place. Um, <laughs> the excuse A lot of these people are probably press ganged anyway. Ooh, our um, two 
did our two dwarves yeah, in, the the dwarves. in these places? Also, did uh, you uh, find the body of your priestess? No, they're all ask. they're all charred beyond recognition. So if if she's dead or alive, I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you uh, as you head to the mine, however, uh, you see two very familiar heads pop out of two holes in the ground. <laughs> because of course. <laughs> Hey, lads! What's going on here? Um, everything's gone to shit. You should probably return to the port and await, uh... What uh, do you mean by shit? Everyone's uh, dead. Everybody's dead? Alright. So uh, if you... We... Sorry, go ahead. So if you, if you want, uh, to stay here, you can. I don't recommend it. Um, but if you want to get off this island, there'll probably be a supply ship coming within the next two weeks, so you probably want to move to the, uh, to what's left of the town and basically wait for rescue there. Uh, on a side note, I seem to have forgotten to name these guys uh, in my notes. Remember. It's like Dig and Doug or something, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dig Doug? I yeah. like it. Okay, we're just gonna go with Dig and Doug. All right, uh, Dig turns to Doug and he goes, Hey, go, go, go grab our bug out bikes. <laughs> because of course they um, do. And then uh, he whistles and he's like, All right, boys, back to the, back to the town. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so everyone starts to, uh, starts to grab their shit and leave. Good luck. Um, <clears throat> as you're leaving, however, the, uh, uh, you start to note, you hear two extra pairs of, of feet behind you. Uh, we look around. <laughs> 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 uh, you have noticed that Dig and Doug are carrying two very large axes, um, how they obtained these axes, you are not entirely certain, um, and uh, are now behind you. And they're like, well, you didn't think you are going to go without us, did you? Uh, uh, yes, actually, yes, but yes, you are more did. than welcome. <laughs> the DM really likes doing his voice, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's one of the only voices he's got. Um... Rock like... skull and the DM dies for a minute. Yeah, so they... Uh, yeah, they're with you now. Um, and they seem to have... They have picks, and they have axes, and they have uh, bedrolls. That seems to be their idea of a bug out bag. And food. Okay. That's pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, so... If this is the last place to warn, then presumably we're going to go try and scout out the golden empire which hopefully okay. is not nearly as intimidating as it sounds uh, we go now let's go um and uh his like motions for you and he's like silent um because uh and so he takes you to you travel for a couple days um and he takes you to a very large very uh very large road um where clearly there's a lot of traffic through here and he's like we take we follow this um, Seems like an excellent sign. Okay. Um, uh, so presumably we probably do want to try and stealth this. Okay. okay. Is, is the road straight or? Uh, so the road is uh pretty straight, yeah. Um, and it's and it's just cut out from the jungle itself. But there's plenty of jungle on either side. Yeah, I am. I'm just I gonna stay on the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could have not stealthy people stay further in the jungle. Yeah, and stealthy yeah. people stay close to the road and let the not stealthy people know if they need to change course. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> um. So yeah, as you're uh, as you're you're marching along, um, Hiss is almost like completely. You've, you've realized now that Hiss is very very good at hiding. Um, he's almost completely invisible, and if he wasn't trying to make himself known, he could just disappear. Um, and and you should have rolled a lizard folk character. Uh, no, it's more because he's familiar with the area. Yeah, um. Uh. So. You are marching along, and you start to hear the sound of 
of slide. I don't know how else to describe it. Like sliding, like something being dragged along along the ground. Um, I agree, like a snake. <laughs> maybe. Uh, yes, maybe like a snake. Um, and what you see from behind you is uh, one of the strangest sights you've you've ever seen because you you've never seen something like it. Uh, which is like the definition of a strange sight, I guess. Um, uh, but you see four snake men uh, uh, sliding along the ground, holding up a palanquin uh, with that is just ornate as hell. It's it's red with with gold inlay, and uh, they're they're rolling along, and and you can see like golden curtains, and uh, yeah. Um, um, and they start to go away. They, they don't seem to be paying attention to anything. They don't seem to notice you as they... Are they so presumably they're coming towards us? They're, com they're coming from where you started towards where you're going. Um, and they're coming from behind you. Wow. Um, and presumably they're going faster than us if they're catching up to us. Well, I mean, so you guys are trying to stealth through the woods and they're just going. Okay, yeah. Um, so they're not moving particularly fast. Uh, but they're going faster than us is. Well, so I guess that's my question. It's a good question. Did you guys stop when you heard, or did you continue? Well, well that's, 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 that's what I'm wondering. Like, stopped. like, okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I didn't hear anything, obviously, but when everyone else stopped. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to kind of get to the side. And I guess okay. wait for them. Um, so quick decision, I... attack or hide. Am I am, am I, I hidden? I was gonna try and negotiate or like just kinda be friendly and maybe a little respectful since they're, you know, an empire, presumably, and very egotistical. Uh, might I'm actually have, to keep hiding uh, in the jungle. I might actually have try and, yeah, no, let's not have his do the talking, because Uh, okay, so they're they're coming up on you now. Not exactly super fast, but they are coming up on you. Okay. I get sort of to the side of the road because um, I don't want to be in their way. I don't want to seem like. But you're you're person. you're in I'm, the I'm, open. Yeah, I'm still in the open, still visible. I'm not sure why I didn't expect that actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't. Prostrate yourself. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, they... Yeah, the, I actually will get down on a knee before they come up. The lizard men kind of come up, and they're very confused. They're, they're very puzzled by your existence. Um, and they stop, and so they're, like, as they're stopped, eventually a head sort of pokes out of the palanquin and is like hissing it at them um, and then stares at you and kind of shuts up. Uh, what do you do? I'm still going to wait for them to make the first move. Whatever uh, it may be. So, the thing is, is hissing at you. Okay. Um, I... Shoot, maybe I should have brought his out. <laughs> um, I just... Kind of try and respectfully bow and explain in common that they don't understand. Actually, no, I'm going to explain celestial because that sounds fun. They don't understand okay. me anyway. Uh, that uh... no, no, I'll do common just in case they have picked that up somehow. Can I really quick while Josh is doing his thing? Um, am, are everyone else in the party except for Josh within thirty feet of me? Uh. So you are presumably within five feet of the road. Uh, Eniolis, Alvec, and... Yeah, Eniolis and Alvec are like 60 feet away because they don't want to be seen. Um, I don't know if you can cross 60 feet now. Or 55 feet, I guess. Uh, everyone else is within five, five to ten feet of me. Taela is the only one that's... Okay. Continue. Ta Taela, yourself, and Satali, yes. And his. And Dig and Duggar over by Alvec. Okay. 
Um, okay. I am actually going to kind of ask for uh, his to come out and do some translating. Okay. If he's willing. Um, his is like shaking his head, but he, like as you're motioning, like the, the folks on the, um, <laughs> the folks holding up the palanquin are like pointing at him now. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> and he like slinks out. And uh, yeah. So he's like, what do you what do you want to say to him? Um, I want him basically to. Well, not basically. I guess I want him to. This is the golden. I want him to uh, express greetings uh, and my uh, enthusiasm and opportunity to meet one of the esteemed denizens of the Golden Empire, which I've heard so many great things about. Uh, he translates to her to it, pardon me, in the palanquin, um, but uh, it uh, it replies back to him, to which he turns to you and says, uh, "She's asking why the hairless ape is standing in the road." I'm not standing in the road. I'm standing off to the side of the road. Uh, oh, I'm sure that'll clear everything up. He <laughs> replies back, um, and then translates back, essentially, like, she think you're very ugly. Okay. <laughs> I don't particularly care. Um, I express that I merely wanted to be in the presence of such uh, <clears throat> opulence and uh, retreat back into the woods. Uh... So Hiss is like, what the fuck is opulence? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hiss is like, uh, he's like, I tell her she's very pretty from you. Yeah, um, that works. And uh, Hiss translates, and she translates back, or translates back, like, uh, she already has a mate. Please leave her be. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> It's the lizard folk version of I have a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, this probably isn't going to actually go anywhere, so I'll just let them go on their way, since they apparently aren't actually, you know, uh, at all even really interested, but also not hostile. That's um, information. The lizard men, as they, or the, the snake men as they walk by, um, or slither by, are <laughs> sort of vocalizing amongst themselves which his translates like they uh they are going to try so how does how does this how am i going to translate this into like broken english um they think you worth a lot they go find someone capture hairless ape okay um for collection hmm So essentially, they're looking for a bounty hunter now to capture you and put you in a cage. That should be fun. Uh, meanwhile, let's uh, continue on, I guess. Okay. Highly strange interaction, uh, which was I, I I didn't know what was going to happen there. Uh, I didn't expect like from murder murder hobo, but I didn't. <laughs> do you already have an inspiration point? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, you should get one to, for dumbfounding the, the GM. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't expect you to be all pleasant with them. Um, I did expect someone, like, there was a possibility someone would speak with them, but it wasn't going to be pleasant. Um, or, like, would be provoked. Uh, yeah, so, as you are moving, you start to, re you sort of reach the end of this this jungle and what you see before you is this um this just like massive site of of like a mountain and these uh these farms right and the farms are on layers um and there's these just fields of like corn growing on these like layers with rivers with like water flowing through them and everything and you start to look up and up and up and you see a very large golden, um, what looks like castle, and golden walls. 
uh, surrounding it, off in the distance. Oh, I guess we're not. Mm. I got the guy's name. No, I don't know. I don't. I think this is probably the other empire out here. I don't think there's any evidence this is the Golden Empire. Um. Okay. I vote we steal it and take it back with us, because that's probably worth a lot of money. Uh, you are overestimating my thieving skills. <laughs> the entire city. No. <laughs> Sir, what are you trying to pick up? The city. <laughs> that I'm not actually near yet, by the way. Right. Um. Trying to find images of Cusco. But, and, <laughs> but it's actually harder than... But yes, in, imagine as I do, it's like Cusco. Imagine it looks like you imagine Cusco looks like. Yes. Got it. I'm picturing Stetson lost in thought. Uh, sure. There's a big Stetson that you have to <laughs> Um, but at this point, like, uh... Message received. So, at this point, Hiss, like, stops you and he's like, uh... He's like, stop, we, there's... Yeah, actually, that's a better, that's a better way to put it. It's it's like uh, it's, um, it's uh, it's we can't go we can go no further. The uh, they'll see us and capture us, essentially. Okay, this is getting trickier by the. We disguise ourselves as snake people. See. Um, 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 I think I have enough to have enough Actually, make a, make a perception check. Everyone? Uh, sh everyone that's looking in the direction of the city. I'm pretty sure I'm looking in the direction of the giant golden thing. Critical success. God damn it. Perfect. Um, no one else needs to roll, because Taylor knows everything. So, Taylor, your eagle eye, your elf eyes, or in this case, halfling eyes, see, um, not just snake people, um, but there is there piece a uh, little there appears to be groups of lizard men as well, um, and also uh, groups of orcs. Um, there is there seems to be a group of orcs camped outside the wall as well. Seriously, um, orcs here too? Yes. Man. So we could paint our skin green and gain about a hundred pounds of muscle. Or you could be we'll weak orcs, orcs and one very small orc. <laughs> or I can cast Pass Without Trace. Assuming that only works on you, though. Which what, it's a gives 30 you feet. no footprints. Um, no, we get everyone in the in the circle, 30 feet radius. Gets a plus 10 bonus to dex, specifically stealth checks, and can't be tracked by magical means. Except by magical means. Yeah, I'm not can't sure. Can't be tracked, but they can Whoever... still be seen. Yeah. Can still be seen, but you get a huge bonus to stealth. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll probably still have some... I, I'm not sure that bonus will matter if we're inside a city that's full of people. Like... Well, I might be able to uh, at least get a couple of us close enough to... Yeah, yeah, that's true. At this point, Dig turns to his brother and is like, I bet you we could dig under those walls. I completely forgot that they were with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can they do it quietly? And how? Everything I do is quiet! Considering we haven't noticed them with us this whole time. <laughs> Like, they apparently uh, weren't even noticeable during that uh, whole thing with the snake people on the road. No, they were over by Elvec, like, playing, I don't know, uh, rock, paper, scissors or something. <laughs> Lizard Spock. How, how fast could they take under the walls? Um, he's, he looks at him, he starts stroking his beard, and he's like, two hours. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Digging masters. I 
Okay. So I like this plan. Let's our... fall and try What's to get game? up there. Why do we want to get up there? Because presumably our... Because it's the obvious quest hook. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> because our friends might be in there, especially the captain. Yeah. Ooh. Might. Um, we can actually call it here as well. Uh, this does sound like it's gonna yeah. be pretty long. I don't know how much time people have. Eleven o'clock um, was the deadline I was working with. Do you think we can be done in an hour? Uh, or at least probably. at another decent stopping point, anyway. Yeah, I can do my best to get you to a stopping point in an hour. Um, if that means speeding stuff along at like ten forty-five, then that means speeding stuff along at ten forty-five. Okay. Uh, Chris, is that okay with you? I know you also have like adult responsibilities. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So, uh, you have the option of using Alaris to sneak in. Um, Dig and Doug have offered to dig under the walls. Why not uh, both? So you can dig yeah. under the walls and then use past Doug's race on the inside. Um, and I, I like. Uh, is it Forest's idea of doing this at night? Well, I said that. How long does Pest Without Trace last, Nick? Up to an hour. With Wait. concentration. Okay, um... Yeah, so... Uh... The... Two... Dwarves start to, uh dig holes in the ground um, to wait the night out, presumably, or wait for night, presumably. Uh, uh, might as well all try and get some rest while we're waiting, since we're clearly not going to be sleeping tonight. Yeah, that's true. Alright, um, do you guys... Uh, no one's really traveling over here. Uh, like, the road, they seem to have cleared out most of the forest around here, or up to this point, rather. Um, but there does, there's not, like, farms near the forest uh, at this point. Most of them are still situated near the the uh, empire itself. And, uh, yeah, so... Um, yes. Uh, you wait until nightfall, I guess. Um... Not much really goes on. Dig and Doug dig three or four more holes um, and seem to be doing things in the holes, but... Uh, I uh, don't want to know. Uh, but, like, are, are not, like, really vocalizing. Um, and they, uh, they're, they're like, all right, uh, the night falls, and they're like, all right, wait, uh, go on the other side of the road, essentially. Okay. Um, and wait over there. Okay. Um, and so they sort of scamper up this hill as stealthily as they can. Um, I would say they're about 100 yards. Uh, well, it's probably farther than that. Man, I, I have problems with distance. Um, you can still see them, but they're not, they're not uh, particularly close right now. And uh, they, start, they start doing their work, uh, and you guys presumably are, are watching them as instructed uh and it comes to about the two hour mark and it doesn't look like they've gonna, they're gonna make it nearly as far as you guys thought they were um they're still working on getting underneath the wall uh and then uh as as you get closer and closer to the two hour mark you guys um starting to think well maybe they're not going to finish this uh and then you hear a very loud boom. Uh, uh, oh, we didn't ask the right question. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, and you see, not only have they dug under the wall, they've managed to collapse most of it. <laughs> um, Mining is an excellent technique for reducing fortifications. Uh, <laughs> and uh, they are taking off 
and they are moving very fast. Um, they're starting to run down the hill, and uh, <laughs> and then they're not uh, running towards us, are they? No, they're running towards where you guys were, um, and they're also they're like making whoops and hollers, and then they whistle and sort of point towards them, and they're like, "Go now!" Um, and then as you t you turn to look at the the city, there's a just uh, there's like a legion of of uh, very very surprised and very angry snake people um, <laughs> chasing after these two. Um, and uh, yeah, so they they these snake people start coming in. They start chasing through the woods. Um, they they're not they're not looking for you guys. They're they're following the two dwarves who really haven't done anything to like hide. Um, All right. Well, it was nice knowing well. them, I guess. <laughs> And then, uh, just, just, Good. sorry, just as uh, the snakes seem to hit the woods and start to go in where you guys were at, across the other side of the road, road uh, explosions. you start to hear five or six more explosions. <laughs> um, and then silence. Eh, well. Except for the city, which is currently panicking. <laughs> um, but, uh... Yeah, yeah. This is clearly this was clearly meant uh, as like this is they were clearly meaning for you guys to, to capitalize on this now. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna waste. Return to the ship. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'm going okay. to go towards the city. Okay. I'm joking. Um. Yeah. So let's. Uh. uh we need to make sure they're all right. Um. I think. I don't, I don't think so. Like they, uh, they had a good head start, and those explosions just... indicate that yeah, they'll, they'll probably be okay. I, th I think um, that they have a plan. And... Uh, it's... As, as, as you guys are like sort of listening for the this, after the silence, you hear, "Oh, we got the bastards!" But not all of them. We're over here, you ugly motherfuckers. Yeah, see, they're they're um, fine. And then yeah, uh, they're enjoying themselves. Yeah. <laughs> If they die, they will die happy. I am. I am going to start heading towards the city. I go with Tim. Yeah. Uh, yep. As you're going, uh, you hear more smaller, but still pretty loud explosions from the forest. But, uh, yes, and more whooping. And we uh, But yes, okay, so you guys are heading into the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you guys are, are going to roll at an advantage uh, for any stealth checks because no one's looking for stuff in the city at this point. Okay, good, because I'm going to roll very, stealth. There are two very beardy uh, terrorists that they're looking for now. And uh, is, is Nick using everyone, his passed out trace too? Yes, everyone gets plus 10 to stealth, and no one leaves any tracks. Oh, but, you have, but you have to stay next to me. Okay, yeah. Are you coming okay. into the city with us? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Making sure. <laughs> Critical fail, still a 20. Plus uh, you have advantage. Yeah, did you Oh, yeah, I have advantage. Sorry, roll again. I guess I can roll again. Okay, 31. Okay. You guys are very, very silent. Um... Uh, and Hiss is also with you. <clears throat> um, and yeah, you, so you start moving towards the, the city itself. Um, and there's very clearly like a palace. And then the, what you're in currently is uh, the, like the, the merchant section, the common section where um, people are living. There's like, ta like what you would assume are snake taverns um, or snake merchants. Or, I don't know, maybe skin, like, scale, beautification, chop ops. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Um, um. Okay, well, so uh, this... Hiss mentioned an arena. Do we see anything like that? Um, so it looks like, so just off to the side of the palace itself, you see another wall, um, a lower wall. That extends for a long time with a like a large gate, um, which you would ex you would expect to be like an entrance to an arena or something. 
Do we want to start looking there? Do we want to guess that's where they took the captain? Well, the other possibility that I was thinking would be that so those um, snake people mentioned that uh, hairless apes, as they put it, were kind of exotic species around here. So it's also possible that something like that could have gone straight to the emperor, whatever royalty they have here, as a kind of spectacle type thing. It's an empire, presumably it is an emperor. Yeah. Uh, so that would also suggest the palace. Um, but since the arena... Alright, we split the party. Right next to the palace, we can start at the arena and then go to the palace afterward if we don't find them. I vote arena. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah, I, I kind of want to stay as one group too because that way we can take advantage of fast stuff tracing. So. Yes. No, leaving and splitting would be particularly stupid in this case. All right. The only one it makes sense for would be you, since. <laughs> um, so I kind of wasn't expecting pass without trace, <laughs> uh, but uh, this should be fine. In fact, it'll probably speed things up, um, because I want to get this stuff done sooner rather than later. Uh, so yeah, you start your way towards um, towards a towards the arena. Um, I am going to roll because there are guards guarding the arena. Um, I'm going to roll two 1d20s. I don't really think they have a chance to see you unless they... Yeah, our lowest stealth is a 27. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me try here. Five, five we. Yes, that is that is what I need. Um. Oh, they do have perception plus two. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's really possible. So. Unless I get a natural 20, you're probably fine. Oh look, they got natural 20s. Haven't even rolled yet, so I don't know. <laughs> oh. Uh, no, they didn't, they didn't roll natural 20. Uh, in fact, one of them rolled a natural 1. So... He's using gross to the I contents of his nose. Guess yeah, he's there's like a fly on his nose or something that's itching him. Um, but uh, you don't see an entrance that won't take you immediately past them, which would probably, like, uh, regardless of, of pass without trace, would incur a pretty heavy heavy penalty in trying to sneak past someone who is two feet two away feet away from you. Um, any um, cover. Yep. What you do see are some what look like uh, sewer grates uh, that seem to go below the arena next to you. Well, gotta drink the sewer level. <laughs> um, yeah, I probably, because unless we can one-shot these Is guys. Is it gonna fit? <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't ask, should I? I was kind of thinking of that. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh... He's not that huge, he's only 7 feet yeah, tall. Yeah, that's true. Actually, yeah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze, but you should be able to fit under there. Yeah, because he's still the same, he's technically still in the same, uh, yeah. size category. Size category. Um, just like, you know, two, two and a half feet at the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, so I assume you guys are slipping down now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so you so land... we don't have any magic users that could cast, like, sleep or something. Uh, so... Cast what? Anything. <laughs> Sleep. Oh. No, I think that's what you said. But... Uh... I, don't I may have something do. for this. I, I don't, I don't I mean, know. We don't, I mean, we, we, we don't know, know you're a magic user, so... Casters, so. <laughs> There'd be no reason for us to suggest this, which I'm not, because I don't know that you're a spellcaster. No, I don't have anything for it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you slip into this sewer grate. It's actually just like a... a so, the dungeon happens to run... 
through the sewer as well. Or at least, like, not the dungeon, but, like, the area that they're keeping the creatures in. Um, seems to run through part of the sewer. Uh, and so yeah, as you slip in, there's, like, a central um, sewage line. And then on either side are cages. Are cages. Um, when you look in, you see a variety of different races. You see, uh, uh, you see snake people. You see, uh, you see lizard men, you see orcs, you see uh, dinosaurs, you see uh, like tigers, but you don't see any humans. Uh, Hiss talk to the lizard people? Uh, sure. Yeah, the Hiss, so Hiss goes over um, and starts chatting with the, the one of the lizard men in the cage. Um, trying to figure out if anyone is in there, um, and then the the lizard man reacts aggressively, tries to grab Hiss, who, do, who like dodges him. Um, Hiss comes over and he's like, he doesn't know, uh, he's never seen a hairless ape in here, um, <clears throat> but uh, he's not particularly friendly. He seems to be a little bit crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So mass release for the pr prisoners to cause panic is gonna be a contingency plan. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, that's great. Um. So, but I guess if they aren't here, then the next guess would be the palace itself. It seemed to be. I don't suppose he happened to mention if there's a way to get to the palace through the dungeons. Doesn't uh... seem very friendly. So. <laughs> You would guess not. Um, the palace is, is, it doesn't, it appears that there's only one path up. Um, you don't really know where it goes, I guess. Could the sewers um, lead there? The sewers? Yeah. Uh, you don't know at this point. Uh, if uh, there's uh, a way up, I'm going to peek up there and see what I can see. Okay. Nothing else can I boost him? Ooh, that's, I like that idea. I sit on Chris's shoulders. <laughs> so where, where are you going? So basically, like, Chris said there's a way the out. Just has an extra pair of eyes. Oh no! no, no, no. So, it's, 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 a, it's like a stairway where they, 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 they walk right. on. Right. Yeah. Like, so I'm. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. how long is it? Uh, this. I'd say probably sixty feet worth of stairway. Well, if this is if there's only one way up, won't that just lead back to the entrance of the arena with the guards? Well, we came in. I mean, there's one way besides the way we came in, right? Which was the sewer. Right. So, I mean, this would lead to the arena, but if there are guards on the outside of the arena, there probably aren't guards on the inside of the arena, so there may be a way to get to the palace from there. Okay. Was okay. the chain of thought. Okay. It could be completely incorrect, but no, no, that's that where sense. I was going with that. Okay, um, so as you, uh, are coming up the stairs you sort of you see like a, a sliding gate um that would presumably be pulled up to uh let you into the arena mm -hmm. but you can't see through it because it's, it's solid, solid wood. it's solid wood and we don't see a way to to raise it not from not this be, side probably be louder than one anyway all right um you can attempt to lift it up yourself. That sounds like not the best idea. Okay, so unless you want to try that, Alvec, I think we should go back down and try the sewers. Okay. Um, does anyone know? Does anyone have a really good sense of direction? I suppose technically I would. But we're gonna need that if we're going underground. Well, yeah, I mean, anyone with decent survival too would. I'm tempted to give you that just because um, <laughs> of the natural 20, but. Uh, I don't get advantage on it. No, I'll give Forrest inspiration. He has advantage. Oh, okay. can you give okay. other yep. people yep. inspiration? Yep. You can. Okay. So, so he, uh, okay. 
now going to be intimately knowledgeable about uh, the uh, yeah the location of, of or the direction you guys are going in. Um, sort of figuring out like what pipes lead where, I guess. All right. Make right. sure the sewers there. I suppose we shall. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right. So, oh, um, shit. you actually would have. Oh. Someone okay? Nick. Hello? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so as you sort of enter, you realize that to actually get through to the other side of this, you'd have to e enter the the um stream of sewage. Uh, but you do see a room on the other side that opens up. Um, well, we could use, uh, I mean, Alvik's probably tall enough. We could just, uh, how far yes, is it? I ride Alvik's shoulders. <laughs> so well, I was, I was thinking maybe just have him stand in the middle and then we just kind of jump on his shoulders and jump over. Or what are you asking for us? What, how far the gap is? Like, how far away the room is? I'd say it's about six feet. Oh, okay. So, so we could theoretically jump it. Uh, yes, you could theoretically. Well, so uh, it's there's a solid wall with the entrance to the sewer, six feet through the sewage area, and then like an opening to like or like the room opens up. So the they can't. You'd have to go into the sewage to jump six feet. I don't. That makes sense. Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So it it'd be tough to jump it. Josh, uh, or... no, so it would be I think he's saying what you really opening can. sewage. This is the opening that you're going through. Oh, I see. Yeah. You're going, going so it's like way. it's like a tunnel. Solid, Solid wall, yes. yes. Yeah. Solid wall. I feel like being covered in sewage is probably gonna hurt our stealth. Can we rope over there without the sewage? Someone had, I mean... Someone would still be stanky. Uh, well, right. unless you can embed a crossbow bolt in the far, far wall. It is stone. Or gold, actually. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, how about you guys just leave me behind? I'll be fine. I'll catch up. <laughs> uh, someone could go through... Someone's, someone's gonna have to go through the sewage, essentially. That's what I'm saying. I can, I can go through it. Um, Unless you guys can actually devise a well, there's got there might be a way to devise. I mean, I see how I could get across. All right, some see shoulders. How I could get across. <laughs> <laughs> Is um, there a to just throw him over there? Toss me. Does someone have a rope they can throw over there? Well, well, that's what what Josh was saying. Yeah, shoot I mean, yeah. attach it to a crossbow bolt and shoot yeah, it across. Yeah. Is the area secure enough to hit a crossbow without anyone noticing? I mean, mm. this is, can we see? I really doubt anyone's here. I wouldn't right, be down okay. here if I wasn't trying to infiltrate this place. <laughs> okay. Sure, let's try that. I'll fire my crossbow bolt if someone has a rope I can attach it to. Yeah, I'll tie a rope to it for you. So it's 50 feet, so that should be long enough. Uh, yes. what do I roll for this? Dude. Just attack? Yeah, it puts on be an attack roll. You miss with your first shot. Okay. The nice thing is, nice thing is you, you can reel it back in. <laughs> and try it again. That stanky ass roll. Oh man. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, I'm gonna not use that, that last ammo. I'm gonna use a fresh new bolt. Well, you still go. have to reel the rope. Oh in. my fucking god, are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> so, he, he not only does he shoot, he shoots it perfectly so that it is exactly enough length to be taut. Uh, so, from, the first shot was just a calibration shot. Yeah. Uh, and it's exactly, it's exactly high enough so that even Alvik cannot dip into the water while climbing on the rope. Well, let's test it with. Uh... Let's do the shorty here. Yeah, let's go in reverse order of weight. <laughs> <laughs> so, halfling and then. 
Am I rolling something or? Uh, acrobatics or athletics. Um, but uh, you can roll it a plus ten because uh, uh, he shot, he it, shot very it very well. well. You're not going to be distracted by anything, I guess. So. Except for the statue. Okay, twenty-two should still get you through. And then the elves next. I have heavy armor, so I'll need to go second to last. Okay, 25. Any else? No, oh, I'll go last. Uh, okay. You guys go ahead. Um, yeah, no, I think I think you should go first. Just a second. These comments. I'm going to um, assist mostly because I have really heavy armor. <sighs> and also, we have a Goliath who's also quite heavy. I'll be fine. Yeah, I know. I don't need that... to use the rope. Okay, then go ahead. I'll be fine last. I would like to point out that uh, while well, someone is currently holding the rope, because uh, there's not much to tie it to, uh, the last person is going to have to figure out a way to like, get the rope taut and then cross. I'll just tie the other end to another crossbow bolt and fire it. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. sure. Your rope will be shitty, but... Well, why don't you just tie it to a crossbow bolt? I'll do a strength check okay. and jam it into the um, bolt. I'm going to cast uh, my light cantrip on uh, any Alice's clothes and then make my way across. Okay. Acrobatics or athletics? Uh, 19 is just a little bit over? No. Uh, Chris, your turn. Uh, <laughs> that's a critical fail. Uh, yep. So... Uh, oh. As you're crossing, uh, the rope, because you are 700 pounds of person, <laughs> including your pack, uh, starts to bow and you go into the, the, the drink. Nummy, nummy, nummy. I yep, suggest yep. not actually drinking it. I'll uh, okay. uh, Yep, so you have completely submerged. Uh, and the rope is not going to pull you back up, so your only option is... Up. To stand up, yeah. And water glass. You have a very stinky, very large barbarian right now. So did you cross uh, those? Anybody knows prestidigitation? You know, I actually don't. Okay. We're still waiting on uh, any of us as well. Okay, I'm gonna. Um, I uh, I don't want to ride your shoulders anymore. <laughs> Did Alara make it across? Yeah, he went after me. Okay. Yeah, Alright, I one. will... Um... Okay, um, so as you guys uh, are sort of sitting there, a uh, very dense fog starts to uh, cover the entire area. Um, you can't see much of anything, uh, and you're not sure where it's coming from. Uh. Okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna fire, I'm gonna attach the other end of the rope to my crossbow and fire it across through the fog. Where are you firing? Well, well I'm first I'm gonna tell people to move. Yeah, that's right. Really so there... the, the rope broke and dumped, uh, oh, no, that's right. And no, it didn't, 
didn't it didn't break wow, it, okay. uh, because there was there was just oh, he tried to hold it up it kind of dipped into the water and then he had to stand up and trudge across the water <laughs> and to be fair I'm only like 460 pounds not 700 <laughs> <laughs> that's still like even with all my equipment yeah that's Nearly twice as much as I weigh. I only weigh 260 with my all my stuff. That is about 13 times what I weigh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you succeed in lodging it into the other wall. Uh, any odds? Okay. Okay. I will call over and tell him that because there's fog that came from somewhere. Man, where did that come from? Um, I would assume you guys are pretty panicky about the entire thing. Uh, because uh, uh, right. fog, fog sort of appears out of nowhere it should be. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of uneasy and do encourage him to hurry up because I'm uneasy. I'm I'm already over here. Yep. yep so, so yeah, it looks like Anialis has appeared as well, successfully passing his uh, check. So so. Um, you guys have to wait for the fog to clear, uh, but as it does, you notice that you're in a very large central room, um, and there appears to be a couple grates from each side, as well as one in the center, um, and they are just, uh, it, what they appear to be is, uh, rivers of blood, uh, dried blood at this point, because there's nothing flowing through them. Um, clearly, this is meant to be, and this is something that Anialis realizes because he's apparently the god of survival right now. Um, it's uh, clearly under the arena and is designed to catch all of the the blood and the gore and everything and be and like collect it in the center area. Additionally, um, there is a pile of bodies in the the, the side of dead uh, things that have died here. I'm going to dispel the light cantrip I put on any Alice's clothes at this time. Okay. Um, I appreciate it. Do we see anybody we recognize in the bodies? Uh, Do they look like they've been dumped? Roll here? a perception check. It's actually 24. I forgot to do expertise uh -huh. again. Um, so you don't you don't see any humans in the pile. They're they're creatures from all different races and, and species, but no humans. Or near humans. No, no elves, no halflings. Nobody would think we came from our. None of the normal races. Um, <laughs> Where are the aliens here? Well, you see, it, <laughs> normal is strangely defined even in the place we come from, too, remember? So, since you have that five ruling races thing. Um, none of the races from uh, Grand Lorian, anyway. Uh, no, no Grand Lorian races. Uh, you see one entrance, or one exit, rather, not entrance, that seems to, uh, that seems to, um, uh, lead out but it leads out to the open you can see on the other side that there's no like room on the other side um it's just a spout that pours all of the the viscera and everything outside and then there's another one so let me draw this up my deft drawingness um so you see this big central area this is this spout goes out and it ends here and you can see the outside and then there's another pathway this way, but this one has, uh, like, a small walkway on either side. It's clearly meant that people are able to travel through this area. Uh, is that the direction of the palace? Uh, that would be the direction of the palace, yes. Alright, I think we should go that way. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the, the spot real quick and just see if I can see anything out there. Okay. Uh, no, you see the other, like, so, this is sort of the edge of the mountain, and it looks like there's a long drop off that side, but there's nothing, like, uh, you don't see, like, buildings or anything over there. So, it could be a way to escape. 
Uh, it's very Or it small. could be a way to fall to our deaths. So it could be a way for me to escape. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's probably squeezable by everyone but Elvec. Alright. Um, That's all I wanted to know. Yeah. Uh, as you go that direction, um, you start to uh, you see another area. This is clearly the uh, the underneath the the castle here is clearly meant to be, or you can clearly tell it's underneath the castle because there is uh, a lot more gold even here in the in the like basement area in the underkeep. Um. Additionally, uh, you see a, a pathway of stairs up to a door, um, and then a like a slide um, from this uh, a slide uh, on the far side of the wall. So I mean, this is why I wish I had done up some maps um, or stolen some, I guess. Uh, so there's a long slide. On this side of the wall, and then, and then like a here. like a, a slide, like a children's slide. It's literally a. It's a slide full of shit. Oh. Ah. But yes, 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 a slide. Okay. And then there is steps here. Um, as you enter this area. I vote. And we came from over here. Yes. I vote we go this way. Step, step. Yeah, not up the slide of shit seems like a good idea, even if we were capable of it. What's at the top of the slide of shit? Shit. Uh, <laughs> you can't really see that far up. Okay, sorry. There. not have illumination up the poop. Oops. <laughs> um, so you go up the stairs, and you open the door, presumably? Unless you wish... There's, there's, no, there. no, door, door. there's no way to see through it, I assume. There's a keyhole. Oh, oh, oh okay. I have a keyhole. And a water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere so, is, is Alvik trying to wash off? <laughs> is Alvik trying to wash off in the other river of shit? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, Forrest says he has a water skin and soap. Oh. <laughs> I actually have a water skin too, but yeah. Uh... I don't, because I can't carry that much. If you to clean, I would. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I... Sorry, go ahead. You can, you can at least scrub some of it off, I hope. Yeah, I'll, I'll toss my water skin to Alvik and tell him to keep it. Because <laughs> I do not want it back after he's touched it with, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I saw. I'll, I'll peek through the keyhole. Okay. Um, so as you look through the keyhole, uh, what you can see is actually like clay jars um, in a uh, in a row, um, and it looks like some torches, but you can't really see anything else. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. assuming that he's communicated this to us. Uh, I will open the door okay. with my sword drawn. Uh, yep, so as you open the door, it uh, it clearly looks like um, the equivalent would probably be like a wine uh, storage location. This is, uh, you see a whole bunch of, of uh, clay jars just on, uh, sealed and on a, on racks, essentially. Ah uh, yes, I too spilled hmm. my wine next to the river of shit. Yes, that's what I was thinking. He's pissed. <laughs> He's got like a, like a what's that one, dude? Bear grills. <laughs> Drank his <laughs> piss before it was cool. Which is Howard Hughes. Okay. Um, there's there are there's other doors there. Or... Um, Anything there else? is a way up out of the cellar here um and then it's it's a winding circular staircase on the way up okay i will sneak up it yep yes yeah, you guys want to fall i'll walk in the back 
<laughs> I'll okay. walk uh, probably behind Taylor, but ahead of everyone else. Okay. Um, and probably behind Alaris too, I guess, since those are a few stealth people. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'll think you, you just someone's gonna know you're there. Like, yeah. I don't think it's possible to stealth stink stinky barbarians anymore. <laughs> um. It's still worth it because you get the 14, but like, man, I don't know. It's like the universe hates you right now. It's for earlier payback. <laughs> those are the karma rolls. Nick called it. <laughs> uh, okay. So as you come up, there are there is a long hallway uh, with several doors. Um, and. Yes, uh, several doors, and then there's another much larger door at the end of the hallway. Okay. Um, let's Any of the doors? A... <laughs> Which way to split the up four ways? <laughs> well, we think we're in the castle now, right? Yeah. Oh, right. You are okay. in. This is. There's gold everywhere. The the doors are made out of very fine wood. Um, this side is windows. Uh, those are windows. What do I see out of the window? Uh, the arena. Okay. So... Okay. Any... Fight, fight. Are it, there any... My... No, go ahead. I was gonna... No, no, I'm, I'm... Nothing that I'm saying is worth... Talking about. Uh, these I... rooms look like dungeons? No, no, no one... Can we... Can well, is, we is, there, is there any distinguishing signs on any of the doors? Or are they all just... Like, the, these... Ones uh, over here look bigger. Is that just because you're that's, rushing? Yeah, that's okay. essentially. Yep. Are, can we industry. open these doors? You can. Are, are there keyholes you can peek through first? You can also peek through the keyholes. I thought we do that first before opening them. Yes. Tammy, do you see anything that looks like a washroom? Let me know. <laughs> On this one. Yeah, that's just that's. Just, I mean, keyholes are probably just about head height for me, so this is perfect. Okay. Um. So as you peer through the keyholes, you see like a bed. Um. It's pretty. You see modest. Uh. Like a modest bed. Um. And uh. Some. You know. It's. It's not. It's not as fine as you'd expect from the outside. Uh. If you were to guess, you'd probably say it's a servant's quarter. Okay. And this one. Um, as you go through, uh, it, it's, they're all the same. The same. Yep. Do you, they all say including all the, the far door? Uh, when you get to the far door, however, um, you see an entrance. Uh, as you look through the keyhole, you see a long rug and columns made out of gold, um, and you would guess that this is the great hall. Okay. And there weren't any servants in any of these rooms. Right? No. No. Do they have wash patients? Basins? Uh, they would have pee buckets. Not quite Not what quite. I meant. Uh, I don't think they'd actually help, so... I mean, replacing the stench of shit with the stench of urine could be an improvement. <laughs> pee buckets. I walked very close to Tim. I, I didn't say that in character. <laughs> uh, yes. So, Great Hall, Servants' Quarters. Okay. Well, unless people want to ransack the Servants' Quarters for their rags, I suggest we go through here. I open lay door. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I, presumably you guys are still stealthing. Um, um, no one seems to notice the door opening, but what you do see at the end of the hallway is a very a massively fat snake person, which you didn't even know was possible. Um, and he's he's arguing with uh, with some very uh, very regal looking individual. Duels. Hang on, um, um, is this still with us? Did he cross through the shit river? And as you see them chatting, um, you hear a growl from behind you. Okay, Carry on. and then uh, his charges forward at and charges directly at the massive fat snake. <laughs> shit, dang it, Tim. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> happily or not happily? Like he's reading a long lost friend. Pulls up a very or... small obsidian, obsidian dagger. Oh. And as he's like flying at this man, um, he goes to stab him, and he leaps and he makes his stabbing motion, and he gets caught by a very large lizard person. Um, and the very large lizard person um, grabs him and starts to uh, starts to. He, he grabs him with one hand over his, his face and starts to slowly squeeze his face. I hide behind one of the pillars and shoot the one squeezing him. Okay. Um, roll initiative. Uh, get your thing up first. Yes. Hopefully we can get this done real quick. All of us? Yes. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And I thought I'd be going last. Uh, well, you're not. You still in the stealth round. Um, and uh, let's, uh, here's some of these drawings. Um, yes. And then. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, let me get this done fast. 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 Um. Oh. Pillars. We came from the bottom. That's what I'm gonna assume, yeah. Yep. Um, and then, uh, okay. is it really working? Oops. <laughs> Warrior, and then. you're standing there um and then uh the other so go ahead and we'll start with oops uh we'll start with nick and then yeah start with nick okay so what let's see there are Six other lizard men, um, all in very regal clothing, but they they seem kind of shocked about this whole thing. Um, the massively fat one and the uh, the large the or other snake men, the massively fat li snake man and the large lizard man um, appear to be acting. However, the the large warrior squeezing hiss is the one in front, I assume, and the fat yes, one yes. is the one in back. Yes. Wait, say that again? The large one that's... The one... His... Yeah, is the the one in front with the shield and the axe. And the <clears> one <throat> with the cape is the, the fatty. Yep. Okay. Um, and I would imagine they all know we're here. Uh, uh no. I mean, we're in the surprise round. Yes. Yes. If you're so able to... Dash to him, you can. You'd still get a dash. Whoopsie. Get a dash yep, I can dash to him and then use a key point to disengage. Yep. Jump away. Okay. I will do it. Presumably with punching him in the middle instead of just running up to him and running away. Read his face. Okay, so roll. Oh god, I need to. Martial um, arts. Yes. Okay, so that hits. And you deal eight damage to him. And then I disengage. Um, okay, uh, well, as you punch him, um, he's sort of disgruntled and drops uh, drops hiss. Um, and then, yeah, you can disengage. Okay. And that means I can... 
because it's double jump, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, next for surprise turn is, uh, is Forest. Now let's go. Uh, shoot the... Uh, okay, he's holding this with my crossbow. Yeah, you probably want to okay. get behind that pillar first. Yeah, yeah if you can make a five-foot step, you can, should be able to shoot him. Make the focus just grabbing his. Make sure he's safe. I mean, that's why I wanted to initiate combat. I like him. Do I hit? Uh, no. All right. That'll be it. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, next, it is Kim's turn. Pew pew. Yep. Ugh. That does not hit. Uh, right. Stinky Stinky Wait, hold, 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 hold on. Sorry, I, I meant okay. to ask earlier. Um, so how does inspiration work? Uh, you get to roll at and you get to roll at advantage. Is that correct? Yeah, basically, it's just you can give yourself advantage on a roll. A roll. Yeah. Yeah, it can be used yeah, on attack roll, saving throw, ability check. Yep. So, yep. so if you want to re-roll at advantage, um, just because uh, you didn't understand that, you can do so. No, I'm gonna save it for now. Okay. Uh, all right, Stinky Barbarian, what do you want to do? First, Rage. Rage. Okay. Uh, second, move here. Third. That hits. That was better than my roll. Better than both of rolls. Okay. So 10 damage? Correct. Is he still standing? He is very much still standing, yes. Uh, Frenzy. Okay, what does that do? I can take a bonus attack action. Okay. For as long as I'm waiting. <laughs> we just need to get hiss. <laughs> <laughs> that Jesus. also hits. I suspect they're not just going to let us grab him and run. <laughs> uh, they're definitely not letting you grab anyone now. <laughs> uh, he is... Not happy with you right now, I'll give you that much, but uh, he is still standing. Um, and in your frenzy, you've kind of thrown his off to the side. Because <laughs> you're currently occupying the uh, the square that he was dropped in. Um, so what are the six people doing at this point? Uh, the six people, they have moved off to the, the side of the room and are not engaging. Okay. Um, are there any other doors out of here? Uh, there's the, the, the entrance and the exit. Uh, there's the entrance you came through. There's the exit, like the, the grand hall doors. Um, there's also uh, a couple doors uh, on the same side that you came from and a couple doors on the other side of the... the yes, yeah, so there's, there's several exits. Um, you don't really un know where the castle is or, like, how the castle works, so... We're gonna have that. There would be a way that I could convince these uh, sneak people not to leave by like blocking their escape, but that sounds like it'll be very difficult to manage. Okay, and I assume fat guy is also armed. Fat guy, yes. Um, I would not. I don't want to end here, so if I don't mean to rush anyone, but yeah, no, I'm not going. To. I just wanted to make sure that he's actually combatant before I attack him. 
Um, yeah, so we'll attack that guy. Okay. Um, all right, swing away. You do not hit. Uh, right. Uh, what is even the point of this plus six to attack? My dear. <laughs> Fuck these rules, god damn. Hold on, 1d20 plus... One and... So, at turn... Turn... So it is. Uh, next turn. Go, go, go. Uh, where is his? This is uh, currently... I will give him a token. Oh, there's actually a snake man warrior. I should have just grabbed that. Um, um, before before Dick's turn starts, I'm actually going to use uh, Valve Amnity against this guy as a bonus action. Okay. Um, that's where Hiss is. I'm going to go over to Hiss. Okay. Uh, make sure he's all right. See if I can get him out away from this area. Okay. Even if it's just a little farther back. Looks dazed, but not injured. He's capable of walking on his own? Yes, you just have to stand him up. Alright. Um, so right. that, that's a pretty... I mean, that, that I think, like, shaking him out of it will take your turn up. But, okay. Um, he will be able to combobulate after that. Alright, so that's my turn right there? Yep. Okay. Alright, um, then it's Forrest's turn. Guess what? Bitches. Uh, doesn't hit. But I'm uh, my crossbow again. Then it's Tim's turn. That is oh, Please don't be one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Holy shit. 12 plus 14. Uh, that leave off that. Unless, well, the sneak attack. Oh, no. That is right. Never mind. Carry on. Uh, uh so you're, so you're hitting the large lizard man. Yes. Uh, alright, so he is very not happy right now. He is gravely wounded. Um, and so he, in a fit of rage, um, sort of throws his weapon aside and tries to grapple with Chris. Make an athletics check. Uh, hold on just a sec. I forgot one dice. Slash roll 1d6. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you you rolled okay. one D. I am bad, I'm sorry. Okay, an extra five damage. I All forgot right, to so, change the crit modifier on my sneak attack. Uh you uh, describe how you kill him. <laughs> uh I shoot him in his stinking ugly mouth because he's a jerk and I don't like him. Okay. Um so he is he is uh he is not 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 in the land of the living anymore. Um I was really looking forward to that grapple, too. <laughs> uh, and with the death of his his, uh, his compatriot, the other guy um, who was preparing a spell, sort of puts his hands up instead. Um, Fuck that. And is very, uh, very much like, uh, I'm done, I'm done. Uh, so he is... Giving up essentially. It is now Alvek's turn. If you want to take an action, I suppose not. Okay. Uh, I the reason I'm going is because I'm fairly certain Josh is gonna. Yeah, I literally just made a valve enmity against this guy, so I I actually can't. <laughs> okay. Like in character, uh, I cannot. And... So. Yep. Go ahead and roll. All right. Um, in the interest. Oh Christ. Okay, so that doesn't hit. He has 22. Advantage, I have advantage because of my valve. Oh, you have advantage. Oh yeah. yeah. 
Um, so that does hit. That definitely hits. Um, if you can deal more than 10 damage. <laughs> Plus, say. I'm going to be using Radiant Strike on this, too. So, you know. Okay. Uh, so essentially, he throws his hands up, and uh, because he's unarmed, it's essentially a coup de gras. Uh, I'm going to count that as lopping his head off. Great. Um, I think we're happy with this. Well, yep. to be fair, we shot them already. Carry on. So, uh, as you guys, in, the, in all this chaos, um, all right, I, I promise this is, this is ending here. Um, in all of this chaos, you guys have uh, not noticed something else. Um, but now that everyone sort of quieted down, you start to hear booming noises. Uh, just boom, 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 boom. Um, and it and sounds, it sounds like, like siege engines. Inside? Inside? No, outside. The dwarves built trebuchets while we were in here, right? <laughs> 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 Are there windows? We have a frog mm, troll. Yes, you can run, you can, actually, you can throw the, you're very close right now, Tim, to the, the to the door, if you want to throw the door open. Um, um, other, other than, than that, that you'll there's no way to like view down towards the sounds. If that makes sense. Okay. Can I like put move the door part way open just in case there are mean people out there? Yep, you certainly can. You can. Um, um, I will do that. And look, I do. I do. It's down here. Okay. Okay. So, I so, am so squishy. <laughs> <laughs> so as you look out, you don't see any guards, um, at all. In fact, it, like you don't see any armed people. Period. Um, in... Shit is going on. <laughs> They're under attack from the Silver Empire. <laughs> this, or you were right with that initial guess that these are actually aren't the Gold Empire. <laughs> Seems <laughs> unlikely. No, go on. Please, that's... Uh, so do you want to continue to open the door further? Yeah. I'm gonna join All right. Place. So, as you open your door further, you look and see very familiar standards, actually. Um, and these standards aren't the standards of of Andros or anything. Uh, what you see is the standards of Grand Loria. Um, and what you see additionally is large war machines firing uh, firing uh, catapult or uh, fi is firing trebuchets into the walls of the empire here. Well, that okay, was not how we came in. Response time. <laughs> yeah, leaving that way sounds like a good idea. Um, but do we want to try to find the people we came to find first, or yes? Uh, okay. okay. I mean, we don't have to do that tonight, but yes. Yeah, I do mind. Okay. Uh, I think 11 o'clock has rolled around. I think that's a good place to stop. It's a good cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no kidding. Jeez. <laughs> so now we are in a city under siege. By our own people, okay. which is kind of unexpected. Okay. How much XP did we get for that fight? Uh, and fat loot. So I'm not going to give you the full pure blood XP because we, in the interest of time, yeah. didn't fight for 30% of its health. Um. So you can just fight, determine that later too. Like yeah. you don't determine that. Uh, no, I, I mean I've got the list up right now. So you got uh, four hundred and fifty plus one hundred, so five hundred fifty experience from that fight. Um, it was CR two and CR one. So. Okay. Well. Look forward to the next session then. Alright. Yes, indeed, you do.